good morning or good late evening good night good whatever it is for y'all <laughs> um it is 10 40 p.m eastern here on this wonderful wonderful uh friday evening <laughs> and i am finally gonna give wow classic a chance and not only are we playing WoW Classic, but we are playing WoW Classic um, Hardcore mode. Um, there's a few rules more than just death equals delete. Um, I'll pull them up real quick before we get too far into this. Uh, sorry, it's going to show you my desktop for a second. So I'm going to pull this on over. It's going to take it one sec. There we go. And basically, these are the rules. Death equals delete. Um, no restrictions on professions, talents are allowed, no tr um, trading of any kind, um, no auction house, no player mail, um, NPC mail, fine, stuff like that, gear and items, only stuff that we either make ourselves or get from, like, NPCs or quests, um, so we aren't supposed to go around asking for buffs, but if we get buffed by someone, that's fine. We're not supposed to go grouping out in the open world. Um, full hardcore dungeon groups are authorized, but only one run of each dungeon per character. Dungeons kind of scare me. I don't want to go dying. Uh, forbidden abilities and actions. So I can't use my soul stone. I'm going to run Warlock. Um, and no storm mounts. Um, the TBC Blizzard storm mount is not allowed for use in hardcore runs. PvP battlegrounds, you can do. I'm not going to. Um, there's an add-on we run that's going to tell us when people die. And basically, if I die, I have to delete my character. <laughs> and you can see here, there's a few other rules. Uh, but they're all on this website, classichc.net forward slash rules. So I'll pull that off of here real quick. Let's get our sound back. Uh-oh. Where'd my sound go? <laughs> There it is. That was weird. My sound was gone. <laughs> hey, Grace. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Classy. And I saw Ashley here. Also, I am so glad to see you all. Now, we are streaming at the same time to Twitch. And let me get uh, this moved out of the way so we can have both chats. To Twitch and to YouTube at the same time. So, we should be fine. Uh, earlier, we had an issue with Honkai Star Rail. Um, I tested these stream settings like all day long on this game and it's fine on like Ultra. And Honkai Star Rail, it was just like, not the game itself was crashing, but the stream was crashing. So I'm hoping we won't have any issues, but if we do, I'll repost it. But I don't think we will, because I tested this again without issue. So I'm just gonna make sure we're good at a few settings real quick. Then we're gonna make our character. We're gonna hop in and we're gonna try to stay alive the best we can. Classy, welcome aboard, welcome aboard. Good to see you, how are you doing? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab this stream manager. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this because I don't wanna keep taking us off of the screen once we get going. So I'm going to go ahead and get it to where, because I got to see Twitch chat and your all's chat. And the Twitch chat, I guess it doesn't have a delay coming in, so it should be fine. The Twitch stream manager is showing excellent connection. It looks like we're good. I think the issue earlier was game specific with the streaming um, settings. So I think we're good here. And I got it to where I can see Twitch chat and YouTube chat. So, okay, we're good. We can make our character now. So, I think you guys get the idea. If we die, we delete our character. The goal is to get to level 60 and not die. And then, you know, continue not dying. That would be great. And it's going to be my first time truly getting to experience while, experience while classic. I hopped in here to test some add-ons I added. Uh, but other than that, I have not got to play it. And we're going to be writing a really cool add-on that does voiceovers for the quest. And I don't know about you all, but when I played WoW in the past, I kind of skimmed the quest and didn't truly listen to them. So it's actually going to read the quests for us so we can hear them. So I'm going to grab uh, one last thing that I need from here real quick. Sorry, I just going to put my desktop for a second. There's a symbol I want in my name that's an ASCII symbol. And I need to grab it as a copy and paste. 
Um, I like to put an ASCII symbol in my name. I know it's the dumbest thing ever. People hate like adding you to groups and stuff with it. But basically I like it because people don't try to add me to groups and stuff when I have it. So let's see if you'll do it. I don't know if it'll let me have this, but the little bubble. And we're gonna... So I think we're definitely gonna go Undead and Warlock. Um, since we're playing classic, let me get that off the screen now, it's in the way. There we go. Yeah, now we gotta make her look less garbagey. I know she's undead, but you know, she still wants to go out and look nice. A little bit of maybe blue. I think I like the blue Deathly Pallor. Okay, let's take a glance at Rooney just to make sure. Yeah, we're gonna go with blue. We're gonna change up the face because I like the... I'm pretty sure I want the... Ooh, either that one or that one. Let me take the features off so I can see her. Ooh, that could be a thing. Let's play with the other face style real quick. Not that one. Not that one. That one just looks sad. That could be a thing. Let's play with the hair color. I think I want to go with black hair, dark eyes, possibly this jaw, but let's remove the jaw feature and just see. I mean, we can have a normal face. I just like the black eyes on there. <laughs> it's been so long since I've made a character. Okay. Looks... I'm between this and... Uh, where's Miss Jawface there and that? I like that because it's dark. I'm trying to imagine me running around real quick. And I like this other one because I can see my face. So let's go simple, glowy eyes, see the face. We can change stuff around later if we want to. Let's see if it'll let me have my name. A lot of people don't go for ASCII symbols, so maybe it will. <laughs> it let me have it. Okay, awesome. We are good, we are going in. Um, I'm just gonna make sure our stream health is still good since we had the crashes earlier. Oh yeah, it's excellent. We are golden. So, in we go, guys, in we go. I am going to let it play the intro. Because it's been a long time since I've seen it. I think the last time I leveled a warlock in this area was at least 15 years ago, not to age myself. Led by the Banshee Sylvanas Windrunner, a group of renegades broke away from the Scourge and freed themselves of the Lich King's domination. Known by some as the Forsaken, this group fights a constant battle, not only to retain its freedom from the Scourge, but also to slaughter those who would hunt them as monsters. With Sylvanas as their Banshee Queen, the Forsaken have built a dark stronghold beneath the ruins of Lordaeron's former capital city. This hidden undercity forms a sprawling labyrinth that stretches beneath the haunted woods of the Tirisfal Glaive. Though the very land is cursed, the zealous humans of the Scarlet Crusade still cling to their scattered holdings, obsessed with eradicating the undead and retaking their homeland. <laughs> Convinced that the primitive races of the Horde can help them achieve victory over their enemies, the Forsaken have entered an alliance of convenience. Harboring no true loyalty for their new allies, they will go to any lengths to ensure their dark plans come to fruition. As one of the Forsaken, you must massacre any who pose a threat to the new order. Human. Okay. 
Ooh, I gotta go through some basic setup things real quick for myself on my add-ons. We're gonna use threat plates. It's gonna reload the UI. So we are running threat plates. We're running LVI. Uh, we are running... Uh, this is the hardcore death log. I'm gonna put it here. Oh, dude just died. It already popped up with one. This is gonna have anyone... Uh, of, I, I think it's just our faction that dies, but anyone that dies is going to pop up their level. And then if we hover over it, we can see that, oh, poor Yugi from Fallen Empire HC. Ooh, I've heard of that guild. Uh, race Orc Warrior uh, died in Duratar. Uh, his last words... Kronos Amulet first croc swear I killed like 77 on my hunter. <laughs> Oh no! At least he's only level 11. You can get another fresh start. So we're gonna finish setting up LVUI. It should be fine. Uh, Sivar set. Uh, chat. Um, he, yes. Now we're gonna unlock this window. Um, I'm copying my retail setup. I like it that way. I'm gonna lock that over there. Um, continue here. Shared profile. Finished. It's going to reload and then we are on our way. Uh, you get used to setting up the setup. Now, it, this is part of the WoW Classic Hardcore add-on. This is going to tell us our facts and stuff. They have a Discord. I need to join that. Apparently they updated something. Um, we're going solo. There's achievements. We're going to enable this. We're going to exclude alliance-only quests because, well, we're Horde. And we're going to begin our adventure. Oh, I'm going to pull my... Not... Ah, oh, I moved this way down here while I reloaded. Let me fix that back real quick. There we go. Hopefully my name will not be coming up on this death list today. Yeah, I'm going to put my little damage meter right in here where the chat was. Because basically my goal is not to really see that chat so much. So... Yeah. There we go. And eventually I may join one of the hardcore... Wow, guilds this listed. Is this right? There's something wrong in the settings. I gotta go into LVI real quick. Uh, mini map. Disable. That'll be good. Name plates. Okay, we have to reload UI for this. It was doing the LVI mini map and not the other mini app I like to run. Okay, that's perfect. We have to select this again. That's the only downside. Do this again. There we go. Okay, and this stream will probably go for a little bit, so if you don't have your snacks or water treats handy, I would get whatever you need. I actually like that little bubble on the name. No one ever runs around with a little bubble on their name. Okay, so let me check just a few things in the add-ons to make sure we're good. Uh, these are the add-ons we're running. Not a whole lot for because we're in WoW Classic. I'm going to go into my interface options. Let's make sure we have nameplates. Always show enemy unit nameplates. I want to know if an enemy is attacking me. Friendly players, I don't care so much. That looks good to me. Um, let's make sure auto loot is on. When I remember where it... Oh, goodness. Everyone's dying. Poor Kazam died. Okay. Let's see. Auto loot? Auto loot, where you at? I know I'm just a warlock, but I still like to see the healing. Auto loot. Okay. That's going to be closer to right. We may find some stuff we have to tweak as we go. But I'm feeling pretty okay. Let's go ahead and um, move demon skin over here. I want to just accidentally randomly cast it. I am going to leave this here for now. Eventually it's going to go away. But right now we kind of do need a little bit of stabby stabby when they get too close to us. So yeah, here we go. Let's see if we can stay alive. Uh, before we go much further, let's go ahead and put on our buff. Um, we're going to leave our water and uh, food down here. Hearthstone. I'm going to put somewhere where I won't lose it. There. Because otherwise it's taking... It looks good. Okay. Otherwise I will completely be looking for it and not be able to find it. 
Okay, and thank you guys for coming for the, to the stream. I know it is a bit late, but I'm glad to have you all here. I'm just going to double check to make sure we're still good since we had those connection issues earlier. No, it's excellent. We are good. We are good to go. Okay. Ooh, one last thing we need to do in interface options. Left click to interact. We don't want to accidentally attack. Um, interact and left click. Okay, good. It's set. So we are good. And let's speak to Undertaker Mordo and get on our way. About time <gasps> this would be so cool. Oops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to pause him. I'm trying to move him up here so we can see him a bit easier. There we go. I'm going to pause him now. About time you woke up. We were ready to toss you into the fire with the others, but it looks like you made it. I am Mordo, the caretaker of the Crypt of Death Knell, and you are the Lich King's slave no more. Speak with Shadow Priest Sarvas in the chapel at the base of the hill. He will tell you more of what you must know. Ooh, um, let's see. Let's uh, check Leatrix map settings real quick. Um, port slash LTP. Enhanced minimap. Cannot. Ooh, LVUI minimap is still not disabled. Hang tight. We're going to get this fixed so we don't have to mess with it anymore. LVUI map. Oh, I disabled the LVUI world map, which I need to disable. Disable minimap. Um, toggle anchors. Those look good. Um, lock, except reload. Now we're going to have Leatrix minimap. We're running Leatrix minimap, so we'll be good there. Perfect. Ah, that is so much better. Okay, now everything feels right. Ah. Uh -huh. Are you guys playing anything while you hang out today? I'm glad to have you all along for WoW Hardcore. That way, if I die, I have you all here to, to comfort me. <laughs> oh, yes. Ooh, Warlock Trainer. Okay. No other race on Azeroth has suffered as much as our people, adventurer. To laugh in the face of death has become second nature for all of us. Another of the Walking Dead HM must have been quite a shock. Waking up in the crypt with only the cold and Mordo to greet you. I see the confusion on your face. Let me try to explain our situation to you. We have been freed from the control of the Lich King by our new leader, Lady Sylvanas. The Dark Lady Ooh. guides us in our war against the hated Scourge and the holdouts of humanity who dog our every step. We've forsaken are at war with the Lich King's army. Ooh, Grimoires. It's been a long time, guys. It's been a long time. North ...and tormented specters. The northern part of the village has become overrun with the mindless ones, and they must be... Destroyed. Okay. Destroy them. Show them no mercy. Our former brothers and sisters, as they might be. The fallen are nothing but the Lich King's... Ooh, we're gonna learn summon imp. Uh-huh, I am. I'm told noob right now. I'm like a level one or something. Eagerness to learn, and you will learn. There is no strength in ignorance. Knowledge is our greatest power. Through its application, we can control the chaotic magics and beings of the void. Oops. Sorry, guys. I had to pull the stream chat uh, back to the front. It was stuck on the stream tool, so we should be fine. Okay. Is she still talking? Did I bug her out? I bugged her out. We missed the last little bit of what she said. So that is the WoW voiceovers add-on. I think it's literally called voiceover. Um, and it is one of the coolest things I've seen in a long time. And it has me exceptionally excited for playing again. Okay. So let's go on our way. Let's kill some mindless and wretched zombies. Um, I'm pretty sure we have literally zero money. So anything extra we get, we're just going to sell. And we're going to try to buy some refreshing spring water <laughs> because uh yeah it's gonna be nice to actually have mana okay here we go guys uh those are the tidy threat plates i like those well, let's just stab them for the end save a little bit a wretched zombie over there i'm letting my mana regen 
We're in that noob stage, so we're going to be doing a little bit of the mana regening in between. And pull on the tick. There we go. Uh, no, I don't want to join that guild. I feel so bad, because what if someone watches a stream later and she's like, she declined my guild invite? There's a couple guilds on their website that are considered official, so I, was, I joined this server because I wanted to join one of those. So that's why I'm ignoring most of the guild invites, because I want to look into that when I have time to think about it, and not right now. He's going to beat on me a little bit, but don't worry, we're not dying. We're just going to stabby stabby and let some mana regen. Come on, mana, tick up. We just, we could have stabbed him, but it's fine. There we go. It's so weird not to have absolutely everything on your character. Okay. That should be fine. Oh, he got the tag on that one. That's fine. I didn't see him casting that way. I'll cast this way over here. We'll go for that mindless zombie. There's a streamer I really enjoy watching. Um, and they kept getting so grief when they tried to play WoW Hardcore that they literally quit <laughs> WoW Hardcore. And they've played WoW for a long, 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 long time. I'm hoping, uh, because the people who are griefing them got permabanned, maybe they'll actually get a fair chance to try it. Oops, why am I doing that? <laughs> But I felt so bad. I watched their stream and these people are like literally jumping all over them constantly. Chain like trying to trade with them and talk to them and just harass them. I don't get it. Like that is, that is wild. There we go. Oh, I think I do have the wow music on just loop. Um, so... If y'all hate the music, I do have Epidemic Sound. I can play uh, music from that if you guys uh, decide you don't feel like some WoW music. But I kind of like the WoW background music. I let myself pull with a little bit low on mana. We're gonna need to stop doing that. But you can see um, we're, we're building up our defense. We'll go with that. <laughs> on these little lobies, get these easy hits in. Love this man regen. I remember way back in the day when I was very first learning how to play, I was, um, a friend, uh, had introduced me to the game. Uh, that friend, I eventually became my husband and then my ex-husband were still friends. But, uh, my very first character was on his account and it was a hunter. And, um, I got to like level 35 or something. I remember all these stupid, ridiculous ways I used to die when I was a total noob. Because at that point, um, I'd only, hey, we leveled. I'd only played EverQuest 2 and then, wow. And it was an entirely new thing for me. Um, it was not, um, I was not an MMO person back then. Oh, well, we didn't get a tag on that. We got four or eight on each of the wretched and the mindless zombies, so we'll just keep uh, taking them on down. There we go. But yeah, I remember I would just... I was impatient, so I'd send my pet in to attack, and then I'd just pull mob, pull mob, pull mob, and they weren't even, like, aggro. They were just like this, where they wouldn't attack me if I hadn't pulled them, and I'd have, like, six things on me, and I'd just die, or I'd run into somewhere just absolutely stupid. Here, just let's stab him. I tend to do a lot less of that, but I have a feeling I am going to eventually die. <laughs> and then we will be deleting the character per, you know, wow, hardcore. Technically, you don't have to delete it. It's just like, don't play it again. You can leave it as a ghost. But still, I would probably, I would probably delete it. So I could eventually get the name back in the pool. There we go. I know it's dorky to have my name, but since my... YouTube channels, Barb plays. I figure, why not? Let's get this little buddy over here. Is he? Is he gonna tag him? <sighs> yeah, dude tagged him. That's the one bad thing about distance. Oh, good. We got it. We only need three more of each. Honestly, there's something a little bit relaxing about hardcore. Wow. 
because it's not like you're going into retail and you have everything you need to remember everything you're just starting from the beginning and redoing things that when you maybe initially played through them you kind of probably sucked the first time through you know a stabby stabby I just want to like level up and get a little bit more mana you know the rattle cage skulls let's set that as a tom tom waypoint because we're going to be able to walk through and get these zombies we only need two and three of each Ooh, there's a quest here i'd like to grab since we leveled as well but that rattle cage zombie if we do that we get the warlock pet okay i hope he has a good randomly generated name <laughs> When I was testing my add-ons, I made a warlock. I came in here and I was popping around and doing some stuff. And, oh goodness. My poor imp, he had the worst name. It was literally his rot. So, uh, if you say it fast, my imp's name was piss rot. <laughs> It was so bad. So um, I'm kind of glad that was just me hopping in here to test add-ons out. Let's grab this quest real quick. Good old piss rot. <laughs> the imp. <laughs> oh, goodness. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, stretching, guys. Paws and wings. You'll find a I'll take it. And let's um see if we have any upgrades. Upgrade. And the rest we can't wear, so let's sell that real quick to get out of our bag. And let's keep questing. Oh, you are not the vendor. Oh, vendor. Were you over here? There we go. What is it? Perfect. Very I'm well. running um just your classic. I'm running Bagnon. I'm running the auto sell trash. Uh, a few things like that. Um, I'm running... This is Leatrix map. Ooh, I want the Leatrix map zoom further setting. Okay, I think I got it. That should be fine. Let me double check my uh, Leatrix map real quick. Enhanced mini map looks good as it is. Dress up. Enhanced tooltip. What do I need to do for that? Cannot be used with LVI tooltip. I'm really liking the Latrix stuff. I was always a hardcore LVI person, but I'm liking it. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with everything. Yeah, so let's uh, follow this little Tom Tom arrow and find ourselves some rattle cage skulls. Get ourselves an imp and go on questing. Rattle cage skeleton. You're not in here, are you? Ooh, they were, but they're dead. Okay. Okay. Come here, Mr. Skeleton, 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 Skeleton. Everyone else is over here trying to get their Warlock pet, too. Scavenger. Come on, Skeleton. It's okay. We need that zombie anyway, so let's go. Don't tag it. Thank you. <laughs> Ah. I'm honestly quite glad I'm finally giving WoW Classic a chance because I bought it and I know it's included but I'm one of those people if it has a battle pet I'm going to buy the bonus package um, I like mounts but I don't necessarily run around on mounts that come with packages I really just like the battle pets so I wanted that <laughs> And also, I believe I got some game time and stuff with it. I'll take this guy out real quick. Okay. There we go. Now, normally the mobs aren't all dead. Uh, but... Oh, Rattlecage Skeleton. I need him so bad. <laughs> Let's kill him. Everyone's... No! They got the tag. From the other side of the tree. Rude. They didn't even know they were doing it. They didn't see me casting because I was from the opposite side of the tree. 
line to cite that. Okay. We still need three Rattlecage skulls, because I'm not, it's not all of them have uh, skulls. You would think. Shit. I think they're just sitting here and inviting people all day. Because when I was testing, I got an invite. But I appreciate the invite. I just am not ready to accept an invite to a guild just yet. There we go. Rattle cage. No! I just want to kill a rattle cage skeleton. Stop taking the, the mobs. Now, apparently, once you get further in with all the people dying and stuff, less people are tagging your mobs. It's just kind of like the first, like, 10, 15 levels or so where everyone steals your mobs. They don't mean to, because everyone is over here, like, leveling a warlock, so your range DPS, sometimes you don't see when you're tagging someone else's mob. Hey, we got a skull. Great success. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna stabby stabby a little bit. Uh, we have a plenty of health, so we're fine. I'd be so embarrassing if I die like level two out here. And they're like, how do you die as level two? Rattle cage. Ah, uh, yes, please. We're gonna let the mana tick up just a little bit more and hope no one else gets to pull on that one. Gonna scooch back. Dude just died at level twelve. Look at all these people that died already. And that's like a delete your character and start over type dealio. Okay. Ah. Perfect. Oh. I need to change that. Um, I've, I got my, I replaced my Apple Watch. I don't know if I told you guys. I've been, I'd sold my Apple Watch last year. I've been using it because I like it for like heart rate monitor and steps and a few other things that it has. And that I can like use like my authenticator that I use. It has an app, it just pops up my watch, like all kinds of things. It's super cool. Um, a lot more function than like my old Fitbit was. So I sold the old one because I wanted the new model. And then I didn't get the new model. <laughs> I finally got the new model. So now I have my little my little doodads and features and functions that I can do now again. Hey, we took care of all the mindless zombies. Nice. Now we just need one more rattle cage skull, and then we need to take care of the scavenger paws and dust bat wings. <gasps> you ask and you shall receive. Please don't tag that mob. I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's go get our pet real quick, and then uh, we'll turn these two quests, and then we'll work on this one, the quest called The Damned. I really hope that he doesn't get an awful name, because some of the imp names are super cute. Like, the one on my Warlock main on retail, I got a super cute imp name on it. I don't want to get a horrible name. <laughs> okay, let's let's go for it. And you are. Though you are still untested and young in your learning, you have proven that you possess sufficient ability to master the summoning and binding of an imp. Do not be deceived by an imp's size. Though it lacks physical strength, it possesses powers and a cleverness that will serve you well. Attend me carefully, adventurer, for I will nice. help you teach this lesson. Nice, nice, nice. We got our imp. Let's see what name we got, guys. Okay, we're summoning. Come on, good name. <gasps> He's Carlos. <laughs> I love it. Carlos. Carlos, we are going to have a great time. We are going to have a great time, Carlos. Oh, well, it's so much better than the one I got when I was testing out my add-ons and stuff on the Warlock that I deleted. <laughs> Mr. Oh my goodness. P. 
piss rot. <laughs> Carlos is such so much better. That's cool. I like his name. Let's turn this quest here. Hello. It is unfortunate that the scourge cannot be brought into the fold. Their large numbers would be useful in the battles ahead. But they will not join us, so we have no choice but to destroy them. as it seems it bears the seal of the warlock trainer Maximilian. I would take some time to read it before heading out again. You've shown your potential to the Forsaken under normal circumstances, adventurer. Now let's see you under pressure. The rattlecage skeletons, more Hello. mindless minions of the Lich King, are a tougher foe than the zombies you have faced thus far. Again, thin their numbers and prove yourself to the Forsaken. Do not tarry. When you are done, speak to me again. Okay, I'm gonna move the chat on the stream screen for a second. It's gonna pause the audio momentarily. Um, I still want us to be able to see like the deaths and stuff. We don't really care about damage because we're like noobs right now. I'm just gonna make the chat smaller and kind of in the corner. That should still be fine. That way we can still kind of see like the deaths and stuff through that part. Um, but our quest log is gonna be over here. So I think we'll do that for now. If it ends up just looking atrocious to you, let me know. I can fix it. Okay. Um, right click to read. Tainted scroll quest item. Ooh, it doesn't auto read this. Interesting. An awful predicament to find ourselves in, isn't it, Barb? Plagued by the foul prince, ostracized and spurned by our own loved ones. We finally have our own will, thanks to the beautiful Sylvanas. But what does that afford us now? Slaves to different masters, still a slave, or so I say. But what if we were the masters? Yes, you know what I mean, don't you? We are even more separated from the rest of the Forsaken Barb, and that is why we must speak further. Find me in the church and death knell. Church and death knell, okay. Well, hello. It's wise that you humble yourself. I like that they do the scroll. It's cute. Yes, oh, I wonder, is my... Is it not going to read my quest? Uh, the whole read the quest thing. Um, I don't want to skip it. I bid you welcome, sister. I wonder if my... Um, <laughs> I bid you welcome, sister. I knew you would come. It was only a matter of time. What I said interested you, didn't it? I hit a chord. Something inside you knew what I claimed was truth. Good. Know this, though. I am no traitor to Sylvanas. If anything, she would appreciate my claims, considering it was her own beliefs that has put the Forsaken in the posi position it is in now. Tainted scroll. I mentioned a okay, now it's reading again. It just didn't read that part. Do you remember? We both know that it is that type of Yeah, I'm happy with the name. I'm really happy with the name. <gasps> Your PC's up and running? Congratulations! That's awesome! Uh, when you have time, share pictures in the, um, the group in Discord. I'd love to see it. Congratulations! The struggle for our own freedom. Freedom to seek our own allegiances. When you feel ready, return to me and I will teach you all... Okay. So, let's, real quick, there's one thing I prefer that's kind of a major change i didn't notice i hadn't done before we move on we're gonna go into skins and we're gonna change that we're gonna change that we're gonna toggle anchors double check yep that's good we're gonna lock we're gonna accept it's gonna reload ui and we are going to have wow menus i really only use lvui for this stuff down here everything else i basically kind of like to be like what I started using WoW on, you know? Because I'm used to that. That's where everything is for me when I go to look for it. We'll toss this bad boy down there. And now we should have... Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> the basic menu. And then when we go in here... Yes, this is what I needed. So good. Um, we're going to let Mr. Carlos... <laughs> that is so great. I need to not die in this character. Um, yeah. His name's Carlos, guys. <laughs> awesome i'm so glad to hear that congratulations 
my last build was just like it went so smoothly and so wonderfully i powered it on and then just motherboard air after motherboard air after motherboard air and then finally it finally got to come up like some lovely person in let's stop it here real quick some lovely person in the computer building facebook group was like oh yeah that one just let's say for like 15 20 minutes that's a weird msi thing you'll get past it and they'll never do it again i'm like really i didn't know that was a thing because the code was giving me some wonky stuff when i was looking online so i'm super glad yours came out well well that's a warrior trainer okay general supplies do we have a little bit of money now because i'd love to buy what would you ask? some refreshing water we do okay we have 20 of those now we have a couple of these mushrooms we'll probably get some food from our quest if i remember correctly correctly but it's been a while so it is time to kill rattle cage skeletons scavengers uh scavenger paws and dust bat wings uh over this way i believe let's uh track this one with tom tom focus Oh, he's chasing the rat? That's so cute. Okay. Oh, out of range. Okay. Let's get him now. We gotta stay alive, because if we die since it's hardcore and we have to delete the, delete the character or just never play it again, basically leave it as a ghost, we would lose Carlos, and we don't want to lose Carlos. That would be sad times. He's really going to help us get these down faster, though. So I feel like we're going to be using less time regening mana, especially since we picked up a bunch of water. Talking about water. Staying hydrated is good. Uh, if you guys don't have your water, you should probably have water. It's going to be a long stream. I have to go pick up my water from the couch in the next... When we hit the hour mark, I'll probably go pick up my water from the couch. There we go. So I don't know if you guys remember back in the day when the Greenfire Warlock quest was actually really, really ridiculously hard. Like, leave your hand shaking and you in, like, cold sweats because you're so stressed you are going to just repeatedly die over and over and over. Um, my original Warlock has Greenfire, and she got it then. Um, I left her behind at, like, level... When level 92 was not max before they did level crunches... And then I think I leveled up another warlock, but um, that one warlock has a lot of hours on her. Ooh, scavenger. We need that. Uh, I went back on my second warlock, um, and I got green fire again, and it was kind of nice that you could just go in and, you know, face roll it. But it also made me think of all that time I spent just, like, absolutely just trying to get through it and suffering. But it was memorable. It's something I'll never forget having done. Let's see. Here we go. Let's get ourselves some dust bats. We only need three more dust bat wings. I know they each have two, but they most assuredly do not. So we're going to have to go find some more bats. Oh, no. At least that guy only died at level four. This person here that died at 43? Oof. The, uh, Wahook? I can't say his name right. Did it say his last words? No last words. Apparently he's not a speaker. Or maybe he was. I missed it. No, no last words. Oh, this guy's last words were from Questy, the quest helper. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're last words. Oh, yeah, you should. Um... Now, there's rumor going around uh, because apparently certain higher-ups at um, Blizzard are playing in this challenge, and uh, there's talks that there's going to be an official WoW hardcore server made to where you don't have to run an add-on and do all this other stuff. Um, so that may be something that happens in the future. Obviously, it can't be guaranteed, but it would be super cool. And if you want to play it before then, it's literally just an add-on through Curse Forge. And their website has the rules. A classic hardcore. 
So you can totally do it. Uh, the servers that are recommended for Horde and Alliance are the roleplay ones because they have slightly different roles. Um, so a lot of people have been going around griefing hardcore players and trying to get them killed. And uh, some of the people have been doing that because they've been doing it on these servers, especially have been getting permabanned uh, for griefing. Let's see. And if you're over level 20 and someone griefs you and gets you killed on purpose, basically with like something you can avoid dying from, you can appeal it. Uh, because if someone goes through and does something just to like absolutely get you killed, they don't want you to die for something that wasn't actually, you know, from your gameplay or your fault. So it's pretty darn cool. They actually review everything, and it's so popular right now that you see the world alive and full of people, which I really like that, even more so than the challenge. Because I don't necessarily like the idea of my character dying forever, but I do like seeing the world alive and moving with people. We're going to do a little running over here. You know, I didn't think about it, but with Warlock... It's burn. Is it burning rush? I think it is. That's our speed enhancement thing. That is totally not worth it in hardcore. That's my. Oh, I wanted that one. Okay, I guess it's his. We'll find another one for us. Now I don't remember the last time I actually dealt with crafting, other than just. I gather I'm a gatherer, you know, that's what I tend to do, but we'll need to level up things like cooking and bandages and all that it's too far away. I think that one's bugged we're gonna avoid it oh, There's something relaxing just walking around trying to find mobs while everyone else is taking the mobs <laughs> Okay, mine There we go. I got a bat. Mm-hmm. How exciting. How exciting. Hey, we got our dust bat wings. Now we just need some scavenger paws. Let's retrack on Tom Tom to refocus. There we go. There's just something nice about having a good map. And Tom Tom, I remember you used to have to enter your waypoint manually. You could also pin it from the map. Uh, you used to be able to just enter a list of coordinates. This right click from your quest tracker thing, that is a wonderful addition to TomTom. Tom. I don't know when that was added, if it tells you how out of the loop I am. But it is so nice. I like that a lot. I see a little wolfy 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 over there. Come here, little buddy. There we go. I know it's not exactly smooth sailing yet, but we're getting there. Let's see if we have anything that we can put on. We are level three, guys. Oh my goodness. We have boots. <gasps> we got a bag. Thank freaking goodness. That's going to help so much. Maybe since it's about wow, hardcore, I should actually make a... Um, oh, goodness. I can't remember the word for it. Uh, uses cloth, makes clothing. Fabric worker? I forgot the name. Oh, my goodness. I can't remember the name of the profession. How's my brain spacing that bad? Uh... Makes clothes, lady. <laughs> God, sometimes my brain is just like, yeah, words aren't there anymore. Good luck with that. All good. All good, brain. All good. Goodness. Goodness. I know what it is, so we'll be fine. I just normally am a gatherer. I just hadn't ooh, thought about actually having a real profession that makes things. One of my favorite professions that I had was um engineering back in the day because uh there's a couple cool things you could have and that little flying helicopter mount that was really fun 
Those are spiders. We don't have a quest for those yet. Well, let's look back here for our wolf friend. Looks like we have taken out the wolf population. Let's see. Um, let's go back in. Hide questy. Show questy. Scavenger paw. Well, there's a spawn point right here. Let's go over here and see if any of them have respawned. Ooh, yep, we got one over here. Please have a paw, little buddy. There's four. You should at least have one for me. Come on, friend. Nope, no paw. Okay. Yes. He doesn't know it, but I used to have a pet rat, and uh, by him coming over here, it's kind of a two for one because I'm saving the little wild rat from being uh, scavenger food. And I'm hopefully getting a paw. Oh, no paw. It's okay. We saved the rat. Yeah, that one over there. Ooh. We'll go with this one over here and we can circle back for that one. Come on, little buddy. Perfect. There we go. We still need a paw, though. Uh, we're just gonna do a little scooching. A little scooching. There we go. Hey, we got our paw. So we're right here, so let's go ahead and turn this in, then we'll work on the rattle cage skeletons. There's just something nice about this starting area. It's always been one of my favorites. Mm, please sell me a spell. I want what? Immolate? Immolate? I think. Hello. Thank you. We'll take this. this armor should help you out. Hopefully, it should do you more good than the last. Thank you. Oh, I got dead people clothes, I guess. Lived with her husband Samuel before the plague, but when the plague came, Samuel succumbed and joined the scourge's ranks. Marley was spared, and then death only to die at the hands of her now mindless husband. So strong was her love, however, that her last dying wish was to be buried with her beloved son. Samuel Fitz roams as a ruined camp along the road northeast of Daphne. Defeat me and grant Marley's wish. Bury him at her grave in the first row of our graveyard. A last dying wish, okay. It's wise that you hunt. Yes. Immolate. Ah, uh, come here. Come here, you. Get on my bar. Now that we have Immolate. I tend to go like this. Oh, good. It kept some of my keybinds. Now, Q and E, I, have, I do have strafe assigned. I tend to keep it. I never use it, but in case I want to wiggle around my character like this. Like, that's literally all I use it for. If I feel like just wiggling around as I'm walking. So I'm going to leave that there. In other games, one of our greatest struggles is I bind spells there, not this one. To gold was scarce even in the height of the Alliance's power. There is a gold mine to the <laughs> that has been overrun with spiders. We need gold All good, Paige. The, the great thing about it is you can make another character and try, try again until you made it. <laughs> I am so we'll just probably going to die a bit in my 30s on this challenge. That would be my guess. Get up there and see what you can do for us, adventurer. I mean, looking at these numbers, though, that is generous. And maybe I'll die before that. Because look at all these people. That guy, I still feel bad for Wahook or whatever his name is. And look, thanks for less. Poor dude, he's died at 28. His last words were grats, zug zug. Oh, zug zug. Ah, uh, for the horde. I played Alliance once, but um, if you're looking for something to make you 
Yeah. Then listen up. That was interesting. Fresh out of the ground recruits to head into Death Knell and search for any sort of useful equipment. Most likely, they'll be in stacks of boxes. We expect more recruits to be rising soon, and unless we want them to stumble about naked, we had better get to scavenging. Useful equipment. We'll get to work, you miserable bag of bones. I'm not going to reward those without some. He's not nice to me. He called me a miserable bag of bones. I mean, I might be a bag of bones, but I'm not miserable. Okay, let's see. I don't remember where these scavenged goods are. Um, so we're gonna have to legitimately actually uh, find these. It's been a long, long time ago. Cause acting like there's, sh oh, should have been one right over there. Cause you can kind of see this little marker. And it's acting like there's one somewhere in here. Scavenge goods. It requires Samuel's remains. Okay, so we need Samuel's remains for that. So let's think which order we want to do this in. Did I sell my, I didn't even sell my stuff. Let's sell my stuff and then choose which order we're doing this in. Now there is a, a quest guide that will literally take you quest by quest in order, but I don't want to do that. I want to actually play because I want it to be like the original experience. You know, I want to actually play. General goods. We have a little bit of money, right? So let's get ourselves. I don't want to keep a stack with bread when we have the mushrooms right there. I guess we could. We'll just use the mushrooms after. We'll use mushrooms first and then we'll start using the bread. I just want to make sure we have food and water on us just in case. Because uh, it's not like we have potions or anything useful at the moment. Scavenged goods I think I remember way back in the day struggling finding something for a quest like this it may have been this exact quest I don't know if they've changed this up any scavenged goods let's scroll right next to the house it acts like it's towards that corner I think I'm just being dumb let me read that quest again. Okay. Fresh out of the ground recruits to head into Death Knell and search for any sort of useful equipment. Most likely they'll be in stacks of boxes. We expect more recruits to be rising soon. And unless we want them to stumble about naked, <laughs> we had better get to scavenging. Okay, well, worst case scenario that they, is that they run around naked. <laughs> so, I mean... You know, they'll be okay. They'll just have a, an interesting day. So, yeah. I think the order we'll go is uh, we're going to look for rattle cage skeletons. So, we'll track that with Tom Tom. And as we go, we'll look for these goods. Like, literally, it's showing me right on the map, like where they should be. I'm walking on top of it, and I was not seeing it. Stacks of boxes. Found one. Oh, score. I feel better now. Ooh, yeah, definitely. About seven years since you played WoW? Nice. I played some of Dragonflight. I didn't complete it. Um, basically, I streamed a little bit of it. And I had a lot of games going on at the time. I wanted to complete it. And I just... I didn't log back in. Um, I know it should have held my attention more than it did. Uh, but it didn't. So that's okay. Uh, my goal is to always complete the expansions when they come out, even if I don't stick around to play them long term. Um, if there's ever an expansion that catches my attention um, better than these ones did, I will definitely, you know, I'd be open to like rating and stuff. But it's just been a while since something caught my attention long enough to do that. So we are going to be finding us some rattle cage skeletons. And hopefully along the way, some piles of boxes. I got this nameplates add-on because I want their names to be a little bit bigger. 
I tried another add-on and literally their nameplates were hopping up and down in the air like twice the height of my character above my head. I tried every setting, I couldn't fix it, so I went with this one. And I actually like this one a lot better because I had no idea what was broken with that other one. And I tried. I tried my darndest. Okay. Stack of boxes, stack of boxes. This area, oh, found a stack of boxes. Always makes me think. I don't know what this dude's face is on this little opening processing bar or which add-on that came from, but every time I open or interact with something, it's got that dude's face on it. I'm pretty sure it's a streamer I've seen before. Or at least the face is familiar, but I don't, I can't place it. I want to find which add-on that is and change the setting, but I look through every add-on and I cannot figure out which add-on is doing that. I'm not sure if it's an LVI thing or what. But yeah, if you see random dude's face when I'm opening uh, things, gathering, that's why. Hey, Rattlecage Skeleton. I need to kill you, but I don't want to stand right in there. Let's immol Im immolate. There we go. I'm used to immolate being on four. Everything will eventually shift when we have more spells. It's just muscle memory. I don't think I actually needed that last cast between the Ticket of Immolate and Mr. Carlos here. I can't believe we got such a good name for a minion. That makes my main jealous. That is a good name. Okay. We're gonna find these boxes. I know I spelled, I spent darn near at least 2,000 hours on my original main character. She's not even current max level, and I haven't played her since before the level crunch. And she's not my only character, so that's kind of bad. Boxes, please? Boxes, yes. Absolute score. Maybe now that I actually have a mental image of what these look like, we can find them. Because I don't know if these stacks are going to be inside ever. I'm thinking they're probably all outside. Let's just go up just to satiate my curiosity. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Treasure chest. <laughs> what I get? Log? Okay. I got upgrade. We'll wear it. Nice. I'll take that. I forgot how exciting it was to find a treasure chest when you're basically running around in rags and have absolutely nothing. Especially since you aren't allowed to, um... I believe you're not allowed to... I, I don't know if you're allowed to trade their hardcore players or not, but I know you're not allowed to use auction house, you're not allowed to trade. If they get official WoW a hardcore server, they're talking about um, letting people use the auction house, because obviously at that point, it wouldn't matter because anything on the auction house would be from a hardcore player. But I don't know if they're going to do that or not, if they do get the actual server. Or servers, I guess. Okay. Need some more rattle cage skeletons. Nope. These boxes, goodness. Okay, I'm gonna treat the boxes kind of secondary to the skeletons because we can just power down through the boxes once we get the rest of the skeletons. Because then we got to move on to spiders and nightweb spiders. And uh, dealing with poor Samuel's remains. Hmm. 
I got any boxes in these? No. I'm glad the stream's doing fine because we are streaming to Twitch and YouTube at the same time, just like we were before. I think the issue was Honkai Star Rail. Um, so when we stream that, I think we will stream it to one platform for sure. Because I changed it from ultra to medium to low. I did everything I could. It was throwing some air with how it's basically how it's encoding the image from it. And I'm not getting that at all on any other game I test. It was only doing that in the testing when I tested that game. Which is unfortunate because I didn't think that just one random game would, you know, cause that type of issue. All good though. Ooh, boxes. Oh, he's getting them in me. I don't know if these are individual in this world or if he gathers them and then they're gone. Yeah, he gathers them and then they're gone. Ah, uh, he got the boxes. <laughs> I wanted them. It's okay. Oh, box, 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 box. Where are you? I need you for my quest. My little quest journey. You know, in Hocus Pocus, when she says book, but she says it, like, really cool, and I can't, like, even begin to say how she says it, that's how I imagine when I'm looking for the boxes. This quest turn is kind of on the way anyways for the rattle cage skeleton arrow. So let's go ahead and turn this in, see if we get anything good. What now? Great work, yeah. adventurer. I knew you weren't useless. Here, have one of the better items I've found out of the lots that have been collected so far. He's like, here, would you like this uh, upgrade? Yes, upgrade. Why, yes, sir, thank you. Okay. There we go. Feels like we haven't even made to Undercity yet. Yeah, I think part of what I like about WoW Classic 2 is it's before they royally screwed Sylvanas, like when they made her basically pull the equivalent of a Daenerys, you know? So let's check this out. So web spiders are over this way. Rattle cage skeletons, we're looking at all up in this area. So let's go up in this area and then that way. And we do need web spiders, night web spiders, and the skeletons. So this should be good. Oh, is the background music loud enough in the game? Like, you guys can hear the background music? If it's too loud or anything, I can adjust it. Rattle cage skeleton. I do kind of miss having a mount. I would like a mount, like, really badly. Come on, rattle cage skeleton. It's a zombie, 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 zombie. They're all dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Uh, okay. So we'll keep looking for them. It's insane that this time of day, this many people are out here. Uh, earlier when I was working on getting my add-ons working on the character I deleted to get my add-ons working on, uh, it was ridiculous over here. Absolutely ridiculous in a good way. It's so cool. Okay. Well... They're all dead. <laughs> Let's uh, do a loop de loo over this way because uh, we can. Ooh. Let me see. What is it to pin? Is it Alt? Nope. Let's try Alt left click. 
Hold shift. Well, that just tells me about it. Well, I'm going to have to remember how to pin things on the map with Tom Tom because I don't remember how, but we'll head over this way. We'll head over this way. I mean, I guess I could just do this, but I wanted to pin a specific point and not those ones way over to the west-ish. So we'll hit this way first, and then we'll loop back towards the Tom Tom waypoint. We've got to find a skeleton somewhere along that route. We could just kill this other stuff. It's just if my mana is low and we put uh, skeleton and we get to a skeleton, I don't want someone else to get it. There's three right here. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Carlos, shoot him. Get him now. What's great is now we don't have to worry about so much the damage because we can just kind of, you know, triangulate, right? Um, at least in a little bit. So that's a mindless zombie. Rattle cage skeleton. So let's say um, we immolate. Carlos, attack. Now let's uh, run ourselves over here. Carlos, keep attacking. Carlos, attack. Attack, Carlos. We don't have to waste as much mana. I, I mean, that's not efficient with our time at all. But, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> I can't believe we got Carlos. He's so good. I actually got a good name for him. Like, I'm shocked. That kind of made my day. Now, uh, this first stream is uh, in honor of the lovely Carlos here, who has been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful assistant. Okay, let's find ourselves some more skeletons. Please, I want that. <laughs> Thank you. Can I just hold? Curious if they've changed that a little bit because that seemed like I accidentally held it and it cast again. But it could just be my keyboard being sensitive. I wanted that one too. Okay. I'm honestly quite nervous for considering doing any dungeons. Because I feel like if I screw up something and get someone killed, I feel like a jerk. I feel like if someone else screwed up and got me killed, I would feel cranky. <laughs> so I may do this as a dungeonless run. Um, I don't know if that's possible because I think there's uh, at least a couple that you might have to do, but I don't know if they're have to do's or not. I don't know if you can get past doing them because things keep changing, you know, whether or not you have to do certain things to progress. And I don't remember what it was originally. So that's one of the nice things about WoW well, Classic, and especially in a hardcore mode, is you have to really focus on what you're doing. Hey, Carlos, just attack him. I don't want him attacking me. It's okay, Carlos, you got this. Yay, Carlos. Rattle cage skill. Oh, uh, wait. Immolate. I should just let the Shadow Book cast and then go Immolate, but that's okay. Very nice. I can hardly wait to uh, look through those books for upgrading stuff uh, over next to the Warlock Trainer because I forgot about the, this books for the demons. It had been forever. Okay. I feel like we do one more loop de do back. We can get our last four rattle cage skeletons, probably. There's a zombie. I want to make their nameplates bigger because I'm looking at a 32 inch monitor next to another 32 inch monitor and their names are itty bitty on my screen. So sometimes I can't exactly see what they are till we're about right there when they pop in like that. Come on, little buddy. <gasps> yes, please. Thank you. Carlos, you got him. There we go. Another one. Score, score, score. Okay. Oh, I feel you on that page. I feel you on that. You know what? When I grab my water in a minute, I might actually grab... I've got some uh, anti-reflection, anti-blue light... Um, 
they're technically just readers. Um, when I accidentally let my blood pressure get high, it made my vision kind of blurry. It's still healing from that, so the text is really tiny <laughs> and kind of blurry. <laughs> but I'm mostly better. I think those might help a little bit, though. Because I really wanted to... Ooh, sorry, but I already tagged it. But thank you for the extra damage. There we go. Um, I kind of really want to make the text a little bit bigger, uh, but the second I mess with any setting, once I have it exactly how I like it, it gets kind of wonky, but we may go for, um, enemy nameplates and check it out real quick and see what we can't do. Oh, I keep trying to press four for immolate. I have a habit. Normally, um, once I have my rotation on my bar, I try to put it in a way that I can go like four, three, two, one, 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 one for my spam, and then like um, Q, E, R, and T for my filler spells that I need in between, and then anything down here uh, that I can't hit with a keybind is just things I would, you know, click. Uh, but I try to keep my spells all in there. I might like put my range out to seven if I have to jump for a spell occasionally. But I try to go off of where my hand is, off of WASD, and just, just reach. I'm trying to be better about mostly keybinds. Oh, that was our last skeleton! Freaking score! Let's turn it in while we're over here. And then I think what we'll do is I'll... I gotta grab my bottle of water and those, uh, reading glasses. So I think what we'll do is after that we'll take a three minute. We'll call it a three minute. Where on earth am I even walking to? Oh, I still have rattle cage skeletons tracked. Untrack. Tom Tom. Clear waypoint from Crazy Arrow. There we go. That's better. Let's go turn in. I believe our turn in was right over here. Yep, it is right over here. I didn't know it's called Crazy Arrow. I just call it Tom Tom Arrow. Do we get any upgrades? Oh, who? Maybe. Yes. I mean, it's mostly because we were basically wearing a rag that that's an upgrade, but wow, that is ugly. Okay, that's fine. I'm listening. I am finished with you, adventurer. You have shown yourself to be worthy of the freedom that you have been given. Many will stand against you for what you have become, but know that no matter what they may try to do against us, we are free and will not be shackled again. Take these and be on your way. You have much to accomplish, adventurer. Okay, so real quick, I'm going to put this on the Be Right Back screen. I'm just going to grab the water and the, the reading glasses. If you guys don't have snacks or drinks or anything, feel free. Um, I'll be right back momentarily. Hang tight and don't go away. Um, now, I'm looking here and it looks like we've had a couple people stop into the Twitch, but I don't think there's anyone hanging out there, so I don't think we have to worry about them. Um, they should be able to see the Be Right Back screen, though, as well. So I'm going to put us on that, and I will literally uh, be right back momentarily.
Hey guys, I'm back. Ooh, let me catch up on chat. Let's see. Oh, you got Harvestella? Nice, Paige. Got your Zelda pre-downloaded? Nice. I pre-ordered my Zelda. I'm gonna have to pick it up though. I hope I like it. I tried to like the first one. I don't know what's wrong with me. For some reason I didn't. I think there's something wrong with me. Um, but very cool. Ooh, the details on your build in the Discord. Let me see. Let me see. One sec here. Let me just pull up the Discord. Oh, goodness. I'm in so many Discords right now. Let's get to my actual Discord. PC builds. Ooh, NZXT's good case. I like Gigabyte for motherboards. They're good. 32 gigs of RAM. Good choice. 3070 Ti, 12 gigabyte, nice. I did 3080, but not Ti, 12 gigabyte. I almost went the 3070 Ti. I was torn between the three. Good mouse. Ooh, I have. Is that the same desk mat? I can't tell. My um is oh, mine's the Corsair desk mat actually, the light up one. Ooh, Steel Series. I kind of like them. Um, I ended up going with a lower profile keyboard. Nice monitor. Nice chair. That is awesome. Congratulations on your setup. That looks great. That looks great. And you didn't run into any issues building. That is a win, 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 win. Oh, Nightbot says we should drink some whole some water. I literally just was opening my bottle of water. How considerate, Nightbot. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Um, I have some Tropical Fusion Mio Energy Caffeine with B vitamins. Let's add that to this water. Because for some reason, like, water either sounds amazing and, like, the best drink on the face of the earth, or, like, I do not want to drink it. So, um, this has B vitamins and stuff. Uh, when I got all the, um, all the tests back... I was deficient in vitamin B and potassium. So it's probably why I was feeling like garbage. So I've been drinking a uh, potassium like electrolyte supplement and stuff with vitamin B. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, we should have our volume back. We should be good. Mm. Nice, nice, yeah. I don't know if I like that one anymore. All good. I have hydration. It will work. Um, while I was up getting the water, I found... I forgot I had some strawberries in my fridge. And they're definitely at the point where um, I'm glad I didn't forget them any longer. Peach tea syrup out in your water? Hey, as long as you're drinking water, it totally counts. That sounds delicious. <laughs> sounds delicious. Okay. So let's, uh, I don't think we're, we leveled again yet. Does, it's wise that you humble oh, yourself. oh, we do have corruption and curse of weakness. Okay, let's train these real quick. I guess we uh, should have got those a little while ago. Oh, we're poor. Um, let's go sell some stuff and see if we can come back and afford that real quick. Let's grab corruption. 40 shadow damage over 12 seconds, immolate, 9 fire damage and additional, let's read the wording, 40 shadow over 12 seconds, over 15 seconds, so what we'll do is we'll do, let me grab my shift, sorry, my, I think my order will be immolate, corruption, spam, shadow bolt, because uh, immolate has 15 second uh, for its DOT tick and then 12. So if we do this, that, there, that should line up a little bit better. Um, I'm going to need to relearn my actual rotation because I just have my rotation memorized by where it was on my keybinds on my main. I don't even remember what I was clicking anymore because I've played it for so many years, you know? So I'll have to go back and actually look up what is proper and maybe I can relearn my rotation in the right way. So, let's see what we can sell, because we couldn't afford one of our spells. We are poor, poor, poor. What now? Sell this. Ooh, we don't have enough yet. I think that costs a whole silver, doesn't it? We don't need 23 mana water. Remember. Okay, let's go back and see what our spell costs real quick. That way we have a goal of trying to get the money together for it. Our poor warlock, she's like, I just want my spell. 
It's wise that you humble yourself before the adventurer in your One whole silver. We are 40 copper short. So we gotta get working on that. All good. So Nightweb Spiders and Samuel's remains buried. So let's find Samuel's remains. It's not gonna take me just right here, is it? Or maybe did I, did I, did I need to do something here? I was being dumb? Requires Sam I don't have Samuel's remains. Okay. Let's hop in here real quick. Marla flaps with her husband Samuel before the plague, but when the plague came, Samuel succumbed and joined the scourge's ranks. Marla was spared an undeath, only to die at the hands of her now mindless husband. So strong was her love, however, that her last dying wish to be buried with her beloved Samuel. Samuel Phipps roams at a ruined camp along the road northeast of Death Knell. Okay, northeast of Death Knell. Oh, right there. Okay, northeast of Death Knell it is. So let's go get those remains. I can literally have her right there and see him on the map. That makes more sense. I didn't remember her saying the northeast of Death Knell part. I remember talking about finding the remains. But it's like when someone starts listing the directions for you and then your brain just shuts off. And then you're like, wow, I, those are great directions, thank you. And then you don't remember and then you're just lost still. I got that strawberry. Sorry if I'm making chewing noises. I don't mean to. Okay. There's Samuel Phipps. How do I gather? <laughs> do I need to... I'm confused. Maybe he's supposed to be alive and we kill him? Well... I'm guessing he just needs to respawn. Rome's a ruined camp along the road. Yeah, he's currently dead. Uh, he looks like he was recently killed, so he should respawn. Um, let's let that guy get him. And then we'll kind of wait in line next, and we'll see if the next person lets us get him. It's fine. It's kind of a chill spot right here. I get lost all the time. Oh no, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, Paige. I hope you get to feeling better. Oh, that's the racing game, isn't it? I've heard a couple people mention that. If I'm thinking of the right one. I'm really hoping Samuel will... Is that him? No, that's Daniel Ulfman. Samuel, please respawn. I need to kill you. He's like, I don't like this invite. Mmm. My gaming chair? I've got a secret lab titan with the black fabric on it. And you want to know what my cats do? It's her favorite scratching post. Like, legitimately their favorite scratching post. Okay, we took care of Samuel Phipps. Let's have some mana drink. This Carol Graves. I don't remember this character. I do not have pet attack bound to mouse forward. Attack, and then pass. I used to, when I play Hunter, 
I'd pet attack mouse forward, like on the left side of my mouse, and then I'd call back. But that's a lot of micromanaging. I'm trying not to let myself micromanage that so much. So let's just kill Carol, just because I'm curious. Carlos, attack more. Okay. Okay, because we do need money, so anything they want to drop and give us would be good, but they didn't give us anything. But we can go bury Samuel's remains, I believe. We have his skull in our bag. Yep. <laughs> and then we can uh, finally go do those nightweb spiders. So that'll be good. Because it looks like there's a lot of those over there. I'm not sure if maybe people are just kind of um, not in the area at the moment or what, but that'll be good. Hey, Electro, I'm doing great. How are you doing? It's good to see you here. I'm having a fun time with this challenge. Uh, basically, it's a harder way to play WoW Classic. And there's an add-on. Basically, if you die, your character's just, like, dead. And you have to start over. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's a challenge, but it's fun. And thank you all for coming to the stream. I know it is a little bit late at night, but um, I'm very glad to have you all here. For me, WoW is always play it more in the evening type, late at night type game for me. It just feels like the right time of day. Have done a good deed today, adventurer. Although our struggle against the scourge continues, let us hope that Marla and Samuel will find peace together in their final resting place. Oh no! One of the people that popped up and died. Chonky Warrior Troll? He was level 33! That sucks. If Chonky is out there and ever sees this, I am so sorry. That is a very far way that he made it. I hope you make it the rest way next time. For you, it's morning. Nice. Good morning, Electro. Oh yeah, WoW Classic is included, for, included free with uh, your WoW subscription. So you can download it, yeah. So is, uh, so are the other WoW Classics like Wrath of Lich King Classic, Burning Crusade Classic, it's included. The only thing that would cost money is if you want some of the premium items. But you don't have to get those at all. So if you just re-download your WoW, you can get WoW Classic. So let's head on over here. I'm just going to set TomTom Tom Waypoint because that's a good general marker. And we're going to go take care of those spiders. It's spider time. Honestly, there's something just relaxing, you know, because it's not like you're running around doing a bunch of wild stuff. Like, we're level four, <laughs> you know? Or, or walking over here to kill some spiders. Like, we're not flying all around and going all willy-nilly. We will eventually get very lost. I get very lost without my flight paths and all that. But it's okay. We're gonna get rid of this waypoint marker. There we go. Let's do some killing. Carlos attack. Carlos. This, I, we got such a good name. Oh, I still can't believe because the name I got for the because I I loaded up to do all those add-ons and test them right. On my other character, I deleted. His name was um, Piz Rot. P I Z R O T. So his name was like literally Piss Rot. <laughs> so this guy's so much better. I'm so grateful. You don't even know. Oh well, he got a free uh, emulate. Emulate is the one that's 15 seconds. Yep, he got free emulate. It's all good. I just want to be careful uh, not to, I w because. Basically, if I run Affliction Lock, I just want to be careful. So what I may do is I may run Demonology because it's a... Does, do we have access to Demonology in Vanilla? I don't remember the trees we had access to in Vanilla. If we have access to Demonology, I want to run that. If we don't, I maybe want to run Destro. I think Affliction might be my last choice for running in Classic uh, Hardcore mode because Affliction, you like to DOT stack in a bunch of mobs, right? And you gotta be careful with what you're pulling. 
Um, so I don't want a DOT stack like 15 mobs and then AOE him down. If I'm not certain, I can take him down before they take me down. Carlos is sweet, yeah. I know, right? He had the worst, worst name he could have got. Like, I've never seen one that bad. And Warlock is my favorite class in this game, so I've... Oh, shoot. Carlos, take care of it. I'm just gonna run around for a second. I need some mana. Carlos, just attack him. Good, Carlos. That's so good, because once you get your pet, if you accidentally pull before your mana's regen, all you have to do is just run around the mob in circles and let Carlos take care of it. Carlos is great. Oh, our spell's off. I need to set a reminder or something. Like, I need to set up something every 30 minutes to remind me to cast that. Because extra armor and restore for health, right? Three health for five seconds? Yeah. That's a good deal. I don't think I want to go in there just yet. Maybe I do. I know I'm, I said I don't want to, and just walking straight towards it. Eh, we'll be fine. Let's go in here. I changed my mind. Let's go out here first. <laughs> we'll wait for the ones to respawn in the entrance. I don't want to get completely trapped behind the wall of those in the cave. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I do my rotation, the reverse and the bars, like literally everyone else in the world. I always do like four, three, two, one, 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 five, six for my procs, RTY for my other procs. Like, that's just what I do. Maybe it's like, uh, I play, I used to play piano. I was music education major. I did like three and a half years of that and decided I didn't want to teach. I think it's maybe the habit of where you would have your hand sitting on a piano. Here we go. Aw, oh, shoot, that is a habit too. I keep uh, clicking my left uh, front mouse button. So not like on the top, but on the actual side. Because I keep trying to send Carlos to go in and attack first so he can get some of the aggro off of me. So if I, uh, when I'm attacking, it doesn't matter because the spider wouldn't hit me if I do it that way. Because basically, if I'm here and I send Carlos to attack, but let's say I move a little bit over to the right and then I start attacking. Um, oh, Carlos. I did it again. I'm going to have to start watching my mana bar. I'm so used to actually having a useful amount of mana. We're just going to let Carlos take care of the situation. Thank you, Carlos. Carlos is gonna help us not die. I honestly wish my health bar was a little bit of a different color. I might play around with the UI and see if it lets me change that at some point. Because that is blue. Everything around here is blue and green. I don't really notice that going down. But that's on me. Let's go there. I tried to send him with pet attack bind don't have it bound. I'm going to have to get out of that habit if I'm trying to break it. To be fair, it is at least a 15-year-old habit, so it's okay. Nope. Okay. Why? There we go. Perfect. You know what's weird? The multi-stream chat isn't updated anymore. Let me fix the YouTube chat. One sec, let me make sure we're good. I mean, the odds of someone actually showing up in the Twitch stream are minimal. Um, the only people we have in there are people trying to get drops. Like if one of y'all is in there, maybe. I'm going to try to pull this a different way. Ooh, let's make it to live chat because it keeps swapping back to top chat. 
I don't know why YouTube's obsessed with top chat. We want all the messages, not some of them. Ooh, I missed all this other stuff. There we go. We're fixed up now, so that's good. It is holding excellent stream health, by the way. Um, so no more issues at all. So it's either an issue with that game. Uh, I don't know. I ran a billion speed tests and my ISP didn't see anything on their side. So I guess we'll see. Because that game looks fun. The um, What was it called again? Shoot, we were just streaming earlier and it crashed. Mm, game that crashed. I am um, Honkai Star Rail. Lordy loose. Spacing on the words. There we go. I was actually kind of nervous about doing the hardcore challenge. And honestly, when Classic first came out, I was kind of nervous about doing Classic because I'm so used to all the niceties I have. There we go. What is this stelio? Normally it shows something. Ooh. That's a lot of menu I don't recognize. We're gonna stay away from that for now. Some of these add-ons for classic. Like I was going through and I was looking at my retail add-ons. I was like, okay, what can I not uh what do I just absolutely need? And I tried to find those versions in Classic, but some of them don't actually... Some of them haven't been being updated anymore in retail and definitely aren't there for Classic. <laughs> so I had to find new versions of them. So that's why I'm running, like, the Leatrix maps. I didn't know this was a thing last time I played. I really like the Leatrix maps. There's a lot of features in it. And uh, I think it's LTP Leatrix Plus. Both really, really good. Oh, we have enough of these young night web spiders. We're just killing those for no reason. Now we need regular night web spiders, which I believe are in the cave. Let's do this. I don't want to assume. Yep, they're in the cave. Uh, I believe they are the aggro ones. This is young night web, so he's not going to be aggro. So let's check this out and let's just try not to get cornered. because we don't want things that are aggro spawning behind us. And then us being out of mana. Nightweb spider. Not in line of sight. I can't get that one. Because a cave is a good way to die in classic. Let's just get him down real quick. Come on. Okay, we only need seven more. I would like to be closer to the entrance of the cave as these are respawning, but I think that's the same feeling everyone else has. So we might be in this cave for a little bit, guys. Hope you don't mind caves. Okie dokie, where are you at? Come on, little scary buttheads, I need to kill you. Shit. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. I know there's spiders in there, but we're turning back. For oh, yeah, we're turning back. We're going to work our way out of these spiders. I'm a little bit uh, too close for my liking, but it's fine. We'll just nuke them down. Better than moving and wasting a cash. Yes, we leveled. Wonder when we start getting skill points. You know, it's gonna have the old versions of the talent trees, isn't it? I kind of miss those. I had a build I really liked back in the day. Uh, yes, let's see. And thank you, pets. 
so there's not really battle pets in classic so that won't be a thing i love battle pets in retail that's one thing i really 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 enjoy oh cool we're uh, leveling up skills weapon skills cloth armor proficiency okay language gutter speak and orcish Ooh, we need to get a wand. Our wand skill is like not anything. And our unarmed skill, I don't know. That seems like iffy leveling that up in classic. We get this guy over here. Carlos, attack him. Yeah, we're definitely gonna start working our way out of here. Okay. I do feel like I pay a lot more attention to things. One, one of the things I'm worried about is staying alive. Like that other one back there, it makes me real nervous. Okay, we're gonna... Carlos? Carlos, do not attack his spider. Jesus, Carlos. Okay. There we go, we're all healed up. Carlos, go get him. Come on, Carlos. Get attacking first. Come on. Someone just died. I feel bad. That guy was just holding uh, my spider over there. I guess Carlos tagged that one. There you go. Spiders are done. I'm leaving this cave. That guy can, uh, he can go uh, try to stay alive himself. Okay. Curious. Do we have any upgrades? Yep. Let's see what else we got in here. Another bag. Guys, we got another bag. We are moving on up. Moving on up. Let's see. Okay, the rest we can sell. We might have enough to get our spell now. So let's go turn in and see if we can get our spell. Okay, I see if we can expand anything else on that. But we're good. We are level five. Oh, really hard race. I'm so bad at races. Um, my only true reference race is like Mario Kart, but I like always drive off the edges and stuff. Like I'm so bad. I get turned around. Like, I don't know why I'm bad at racing games. I just can't aim in those games for some reason. Let's sell our stuff first and then let's speak with him. Cause I want to get our spell. Yes, we can very much afford our spell now. That's good. Okay. Maximilian. It's wise that you humble yourself before the adventure. Curse of weakness. Damage caused by the target is reduced by three for two minutes. Only one curse per warlock can be active on any one target. Okay. I don't remember when all I actually use this. I think it's one of those that is kind of damage caused by the target is reduced by three for two minutes. Only one curse can be active at a time. And there's my demon skin. And it's not going to hurt anything. Recast demon skin while I'm thinking about it. 
demon trainer. Can we get him anything in here? Want to make your demons more I do. It'll cost you, but you've come to the right place. Requires level eight. Okay, so we need to come back here. Eight, 18, 28, 38, 48, and 58. Blood pack, level four. Teaches in blood pack, um, rank one. Yeah? I think we just learned them all, right? Let's get it. I don't remember doing any of this. Oh, is my imp, like, not here? Did I kill Carlos? <laughs> hey, you're getting there, you're getting there. I think I killed Carlos, guys. There you go, Carlos. Increases party member stamina by two. Yes, please. I forgot what blood pack did. I'll take it. I'll take it indeed. Any survivability we can get, we will take. So I think I'm going to move this, though, because... Damage caused by target reduced sounds good for now. I don't want to assign it to here because I'd have to manually click that because otherwise I'd bind that to Q because I kind of bind based off the of keyboard position. And this would have been E, but I put R, T, and Y here. So we're going to keep Q and E for strafing. I don't know. We'll put it here for now. Ooh, yes. We'll take an upgrade. It'll take a few weeks or months to fully clean out the infestation. After that, we'll have to get down there with some torches to burn away the webbing. You've done your duty well, adventurer. I'm sure I can find something else for you to do. You will be happy to know we appear to be making progress in the mine, thanks in no small part to your efforts. This voiceover add-on is so good. If you guys play, I highly recommend the voiceover add-on. The detachment of the Scarlet Crusade is setting up a camp southeast of here. The Scarlet Crusade is a despicable organization that hunts us, and they will not rest until every undead, Lich King, Scourge, or no, is destroyed. We must strike first. Be careful. Their unholy zeal makes them dangerous adversaries. Okay. I can't remember where... I, I know it's pointless to buy gear this early, but I was just curious with the benders. What all we have around here? Cloth and leather armor merchant. Be quick about your business. Okay. Watch. Just making sure. Yeah, it's uh, in general pointless, but it's fine. Okay, so now we need Scarlet Armbands. Set Tom Tom target. Rest on the Needler. You haven't seen this. Let's shift. I wonder what level he is. We'll be going over here for Scarlet Armbands. What is over there? There's been a little yellow dot in the map that I've been curious about. I don't know what it is. Like right there. I'm like literally walking on top of it. I just hover over it. Spirit healer. Oh. There's no point in tracking that. <laughs> If you die, you don't need that in hard mode, so. Okay, good to know. Let's head in our merry way. We'll take a little bit of a shortcut. As in follow the arrow exactly as it says. What's back this way? Death knell. Um... Oh, it's literally saying that is why it's pointing me that way to quit death knell. So that's where the default tracker would take me. And this is where this is taking me. I reset Tom Tom just to make sure. Ooh, aggro mobs, aggro mobs. 
Scarlet Convert. Okay. Do, 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 do. Scarlet Crusade at camp. Kill them. Unholy zeal makes them dangerous. Okay. Let's be very careful. As long as we take our time, we should be just fine. I'm trying not to go. Ooh, they path out a lot over there. So I don't think I want to go central up into the camp. Ooh, -hoo! I'm going to avoid that for a second. Is that a player and pet or two players? Player and pet. Ah, oh, shoot. I don't want to be a dick. I also don't want to die. He's got it. Oh, good. There's someone else over there, too. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. I found something cool in the uh, in Streamlab settings. You can um, change your saturation per input, per monitor, per whatever you have bringing in the um, image to your screen. So um, it was looking a little bit washed out on YouTube when I was doing my test stream for it. So I adjusted it and I got it to almost perfectly. Ah, uh, shoot, we're gonna do a little bit of runny run let um, our friend here take care of killing them yep we're good there we go i need to watch i'm not used to my mana uh, regening so slowly i don't want to get myself killed i want to get to like level 30 without dying that's my goal for my first attempt at hardcore i think it's a reasonable goal I'm not gonna like rush or power level or anything like that. I'm just gonna have fun playing. Cause honestly, this feels like the game to me when it first came out. Cause I have to be careful. Cause I constantly feel like I'm gonna die. There we go. What's he doing? Run way out of the way for no reason. There we go. Let's go back and get this one. I kind of like getting the outskirts ones for now. We should be fine. One more tick. Oh, Carlos got him. We didn't even need that last one. We got five of 12 armbands, so we're making good progress. Um, they do respawn right in here, so I'm going to get us more to a, a safer place because these are about to start respawning in and then we'll work our way back in. Just to be cautious because you don't want three of these on you. Unfortunately, that is how you die when you are a squishy cloth person. That is instant, isn't it? Curse of Weakness is a nice tagging spell. Let's see. Yeah. I like Curse of Weakness. Because I'm pretty sure that got me the tag on that. I could be wrong. I don't remember if Curse of Weakness is able to claim the tag or not. But it sure as heck felt like it. I want to be impatient and get hose. Let's go around the edges. Like, these flowers, they're so pretty. Oh, his minion's not happy with him. I'm sure mine says stuff like that all the time, and I just don't notice. 
Convert just spawned here. Is he going for them? Oh, good. I didn't want the other one. We'll come from this backside. Now, grouping is not allowed. Um, so heads up. We have to be very, very careful. We don't want to actually uh, accidentally pile in with people. We're getting ourselves a bit deep in over here. Yep, that counts for a tag. Good to know. Okay, perfect. Shoot, I don't like that. We're gonna work our way back through. Does he want that one? He does. Perfect, I'll take it. Let's run past now. Thank you, good sir. I'm curious how far I can make it. Because the first time I leveled up was Hunter to like level like 30 something. After that, I took that my next character, my Warlock, all the way up to 92. Um, when I think 100 was the cap at that point, and I kind of abandoned her. But uh, leveling up that character from 1 to 92, I remember after like the first 20 levels stopped like dying so much because I got used to things between that and the time I spent to my hunter. So, we need four more. I really don't want to die. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna go after this Melvin guy. I'm pretty sure <laughs> we just need him for like a quest, uh, but we don't have the quest yet. Does he drop anything good? He gives an armband. He can't. Oh, -ho! we got a bag. Worth it. Look at us. And we got some Darnassian blue. Let's put this down here. Please don't attack me. I just want to eat my food. Please don't see me. I sat down in a really stupid spot. Oh, shoot. He sees us. Nope, we don't get our well fed. Or did we? Nope, that's blood packed. Okay, now that uh, Mr. Minion is taken over there, we can save the situation. Thank you, Carlos. That would have been a sad way to die. It's like, ah, yeah, no, no, she's sitting eating right in the middle of the camp and they just killed her. Yep, that is not how we want our death clip done. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna double check real quick just to make sure everything's still looking healthy on the stream just because we had those issues on the previous stream It looks perfect. Okay Yep, YouTube is happy with it. Twitch is happy with it. I think it's a perfect balance. Okay, that's good Sorry, I just spun us around. Uh, let's go here Oh no, someone just died. Level 12. I'm gonna feel so bad if I actually get someone else killed and I don't mean to, you know? I mean, I feel bad if I meant to get someone killed and I got them killed too, because I'm just being a jerk. But that is the one thing about this. I was like, well, what if I actually get someone killed? <laughs> but you think about it, you can always level again. Frosty Locks has a cool name. That is definitely a cool name. I, did we level? We're level five now. We got a look going on. Yep, we're gonna need to get like. I wonder the hairstyle that I like to put in my undead. I wonder if it's even available in vanilla. I don't know if it is. Yeah, let's not get so far in. There we 
we go. We are making progress. Oh, we completed the quest. We made the progress. Okay. On our way. On our way. You know, I don't even remember what level you get your first mount. I do remember it's the racial mount, right? So we should get that, the horse, right? The dead looking horse. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I had so many mount, I have so many mounts on my retail account that, you know, I, I have one for pulling random uh, button. I have one button for pulling random favorites and I've got some favorites like lined across like two bars. Here we go. Um, I don't need click shift to do that. We'll take the one for money because we definitely need the money and we're also gonna get some refreshing spring water. Scarlet Crusade documents. Let's go see if we can buy some more spells real quick. Because we're level five. Oh, Jesus. Poor Poo Poolpo. Poolpo died at level uh, 37. Alleman died at 29. They didn't have any last words, so I guess I haven't been talking. It's really cute, the last words thing. Okay. It's wise that you humble. Uh, requires level six. Okay. Ooh, we're gonna get. Wait. Twenty-two, twenty-nine. I guess it's. Oh, rank two, shadow boat, and then life tap. Okay. It's been forever since I've gone through all that. Want to make your demons more powerful? It'll cost you, but you've come to the right. Okay. We're good. It's just one of those things where you don't remember what you did the last time. Because years fade the memories. Let's go ahead and Tom Tom this. Scarlet documents over this way. Awesome. We will go over there. Oh, let's sell that weapon first. So just in case you pick up a lot of stuff. Get our bag. Uh, we have a whole stack of bread, so that can go. There we go. On our way. When we run into the profession trainer, I want to have enough money to start learning, like, cooking. And... Let's see. Those are skills. Okay. N? Is it? And that's L? I'm looking. Yeah, I don't know where those go. <laughs> I'm so used to where they've been moved to in retail. I'm going to have to find things again. I do think it's hilarious that I bought, I I got, I'll say it that way, I got WoW Classic and I didn't play it until everyone was excited to be here and playing. Oh, Melvin, we killed him earlier. We need to kill him again. Let's try to get to Melvin from this side. They need Melvin also. It's okay. We know there's a Scarlet Convert that spawns right here. We know there's one that paths there. So we can pretty safely wait for Melvin to spawn here as long as we don't get that guy that's in the tree. And these people are killing a bunch of stuff around here. So as long as we don't let something spawn on us, we should be fine. Just gonna watch for Melvin to come back. 
very carefully watch for Melvin to come back. Oh no, someone else died. Ooh, this person, last word, should have used safety. She's a little too experienced for you. Oof. <gasps> oh no, this person was looting when they died. And this Aboriginal sa sash of fiery wrath. Oh no. That's rough. It's like, yeah, it's loot. I'm dead. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Melvin? Mevin, maybe? Oh, no! They tagged him. <laughs> that guy's name is... Uh, immature but cute. Guys, I was standing there. It's okay. Okay, we're just gonna keep tap, 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 tapping. I hate to be right up here, but I guess I can just get him. And then go, uh, we gotta be careful. Cause not like I want things right up on me, you know? Die already. Thank you. I feel bad that we killed Mevin earlier. Someone else would have probably used him when we killed him. Everything spawns back so fast when there's so many people over here. So I'm just trying to be careful. No! Dude. Really? I just need Mevin. Okay. I'm curious how many people are going to steal Mevin from us before we get Mevin. I'm trying to tab and just hit him with, like, Curse of Weakness, maybe. I just need Mevin. Oh, good. Well, he's taking care of that, at least. I'm just gonna let Mevin spawn on top of me. It's fine. Been here a long time, buddy. I have my chat hidden because you never know what random people are gonna say, and I don't want to accidentally have something go on my stream and get in trouble for it. So, yeah, we aren't actually reading chat. So, if anyone tries to talk to us. Come on, Mevin. You know you wanna. I just need to kill you a little. Oh, Mevin. There we go. Finally, we're getting Mevin. We are finally getting Mevin. Thank goodness. We got the documents. Perfect. <laughs> now we can run back. <laughs> Let's avoid that. Okay. Goodness. Okay, we are two hours and 21 minutes in, and we are... Basically, finally encountering our first aggro mobs, which spices up. I guess about two hours in, we started to at the spiders in the cave. So that gives you a good amount of time. I mean, when you're going back in, especially if you're not used to re-leveling characters. Executor Aaron, here's your documents. This sells for 30 copper. We'll go with that. Continue to build up a camp for the ruined city. Nothing we didn't know already. Ah, uh, what's this? Uh. A map of the distance.
dispositions of some of their field commanders and agents. We can use this. These will need to be taken to my superior, Executor Zygand, in Brill. With this information, we'll be able to deal a decisive blow to the Scarlet Crusade. Your services have been useful okay. in Death Knell, but I need someone We're to deliver accept this to Zygand, and I believe we'll be able to find a more appropriate work. Take the road north out of Death Knell. Soon after entering Tiraspol proper, you'll hit a crossroads. Take the eastern fork and keep going east. You'll pass Cold Hearth Manor along the way. Hmm. It's so much nicer with the voiceover. Like, that is just such a quality of life thing. Okay. Uh, that is money. So let's get ourselves some money. This had better be good. I mean, let's actually... Let's think real quick. Because right now... Oh. Well, we aren't going to be running around with an offhand. That's why it's not doing a comparison. Um... Can we use this? I think we can, but we're not leveled enough, are we? Patience. No? I, can't use I don't have proficiency for stabs yet. Okay. I don't remember how to get proficiency for stabs. I don't remember how. Why is my brain not remembering this? Let's read this. Disperse information as you deem necessary. Tristfall Regional Command, Captain Melrose, Captain Vachon, Captain Perrin. Directives by the Order of the High Lord. Captain Perrin, further fortify your position as the Southwest Tower is uh, at the Southwest Tower as de as designated. <laughs> Additional supplies will be dispatched at a later date. In the meantime, materials should be obtainable from the surrounding farms. Also, further reconnaissance and information should be gathered about the organization of the undead in Brill. Captain Vachon, there appears to be increased movement by the undead near the northern corner. This, insurgent, this insurgence must quickly and decisively be dealt with. Captain Melrose. There are concerns about the level of organization of the undead near the borders of the plague lands. A fresh group of men will be dispatched to your position in the coming weeks. Glory under the light. Okay. I'm loving this. If someone will drop like a new bag, that'd be amazing. I want to get a new bag. Um, before we run off, I'm going to double check stream health and everything. Looks like we're doing good. Yeah, excellent. It has not faltered. I should have done this as the first stream for my first crossover stream between uh, Twitch and YouTube. That would have been far less stressful. Okay. I remember this is always a long run. Oh, there is a quest along the way. Yep, yeah, we'll just make the quest and we'll do stuff along the way as we go. Should be good. What is pointing that way? What does it want? Because if I follow that, that doesn't do me any good. Let's... Hmm. I wish I could tell Questy not to track these, because I don't care about that. I'm not 100% familiar with Questy. I never used Questy before. But this keeps wanting me to go this way. It points just towards Death Knell in general. I think it's confused about us going north, so we'll just actually go north. Oof, goodness. Ooh, and before we get near anything aggro, I'm going to check real quick. It might uh, flicker to my desktop momentarily twice. There we go. I'm looking up the guilds they recommended on this server. Um, for North America, they recommended Valley... Uh, 
Valley of Strength, I don't... Eh. Victory or Death? Okay. Blood and Thunder. Uh, the Alliance has a cute name in there. Hardcore Cuties? I want a cute guild. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to get rid of that real quick. We'll deal with the guild situation later. Okay. Oh, thank you, Ashley. Thank you. I'm trying to remember what level we get our first mount. Is it like 20? Or do we have to raise a faction first? I don't remember. Oh my god. How do I not remember? I don't level a lot of characters. So I have my two warlocks. So that's the only class I've ever leveled two of. Um, I've got my mage leveled up. She was my one alliance character. I play with some friends that were alliance. Hey, mate. Do a favor it wasn't awful. I got this here letter that needs to go to Brill, to an innkeeper named Renee, something or other. Don't really matter none what her last name is. Anyway, it's a nice, cozy little place full of victims of the no, plague. No, victims of the plague. To way in the world. And it'd be a great spot for you to rest too if the need arises. Captain Montague. You should check it out. You do. And I'll pay you. Okay. We got a quest from Captain Montague. It looks like we have two to pick up on the way here. Trisfall Glade. This little lantern that these guys hold, like I really like the way that lights up. What have we here? You look like a fledgling adventurer. Uh -huh. If you hope to prove yourself. I know, right? He's like, it's cozy over there. Go hang out in the plague. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Humans infest the land like mold on a rotting corpse. And worse yet. The Scarlet Crusade patrols nearby from their tower. Teach those scum a lesson and steal ten of their precious pumpkins. Oh, Once it really ten, was. Like, going from EverQuest 2 to WoW was just night and day. Night, no offense to EverQuest, EverQuest 2, anything like that. They were great. I really enjoyed my time with EverQuest 2. I never really played EverQuest 1, but... There's just something about WoW. And that they went with the cartoony graphics really helps it. And the soft lines on the edge of the cartoony graphics. That always helps things age really well as too. And like these, I don't remember these glowing like this back then. They've just good done a good job of updating textures. Tristfall pumpkins. We need those. Let's grab this quest and then let's work on these quests in this area. Quest. It says Gordo. Does he path, maybe? Gordo's task. Well. Shoot. I thought we were going to pick up a quest there. wonder if I press shift over it. Collect three gloomweed and deliver them to Junior Apothecary Hall in, in Brill Graveyard. Plus 75 reputation with the Undercity. It's available. How close are we? We are not even close. I was wondering if that might be underground, but it's not. He may be there at a certain time, he's just not there now. Or we may have to do something else first. So, quest. Tristfall Pumpkins. Deliver Scarlet Crusade documents at, in Brill. Deliver nondescript letter to Innkeeper Renee in Tristfall Glade. Innkeeper Renee, where are you on this map? Let's do the pumpkins first, very carefully. I want to set that map transparency uh, to where we can see through it more. I know, right? 
WoW is, is good. And I never really gave Classic a chance when it came out because I was just into retail and I liked the modern conveniences I had. And when I logged in, I just felt poor and like I had nothing and everything was scary and not as... Oh, Jesus. No! I wonder if he was hardcore or not. Not everyone in the server is hardcore. Pumpkins. Let's see if we can sneak around. Watch me die trying to get some pumpkins. Let's go back here. Pull map. Are there any quests over here other than the pumpkins? I feel like this might be a mistake. <laughs> I just want the pumpkins, guys. I do not want to fight you. I do not remember this quest. I still don't know. I'm pretty sure I know which person that is, but I still don't know which add-on's doing that. There's a boss over here, I think. He's level eight, rare humanoid. I'm level five. Let's go for it. If we die, it's on me. We're just gonna go for it, go for it, go for it. I'm not a clicker, I swear. Only when I'm nervous. <laughs> Okay, now when we get low on mana, we'll just start stabbing. Nice! non strip letter, a sealed letter! Oh wait, we already had that. Oh, we already had that, we already had that. what we get? A two-handed mace. Boo. But it is worth 68 copper. And now we can loot this pumpkin. I was nervous because he's level 8, and it's not like we have any way to regen mana out uh, inside of combat currently. So, we'll be fine. Here we go. I feel so weird being on a roleplay server. Normally, I do PvE. I'm not a fan of PvP in any form or fashion. I like to enjoy the game, the story, gathering, questing, crafting. Um, battle pets are so much fun to me. Like, I probably got a good six months of playtime out of just battle pets. <laughs> so I'm a weirdo. I'm definitely not a PvPer. So, um, I'm glad that these hardcore, um, groups tend to make their official guilds on the roleplay servers. We're totally gonna find a quest that tells us to kill farmers out here in this field, like after I've collected all these pumpkins. But it's okay. Not everything has to be efficient. I kind of wish it was fall now. I know we're like going into summer. So at least it's next in queue, I guess. <laughs> but all these pumpkins and being out in the forest with the stars above in the night sky with the fog it's just um it's a vibe okay hardcore pumpkins yep i imagine it gets quite scarier as you go along when you're leveling because, obviously, if you die at, like, level 5 or whatever, like, right now we have two and a half hours in, that's nothing compared to someone who maybe was at, like, level 50, you know? So, now let's deliver the letter and... Whoa, wait! Okay, that's right. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, and we'll grab uh, the end there, and they'll take us down to the Undercity, so we should be good. We'll run along our merry way. I'm going to try to avoid those guys pathing down there. Uh, I might be better off cutting through here. That feels 
was better. Hey, Holly, welcome back. And I wouldn't say it's dark. It's World of Warcraft. Um, it's a MMORPG. Uh, there's all different kinds of races and classes. There's a bunch of aggro stuff out there. We're gonna go this way. You do quests. Uh, you level up your character. You level up, uh, you get better gear. You can collect things like mounts and, uh, like battle pets. Uh, it's a system in the game I really like. There is PvP. I don't do it. <laughs> uh, uh, PvE is player versus environment. That's kind of my cup of tea. Decrepit Dark Hound. Fine, we'll take this guy down. But yeah, it's not... I won't say it's scary. Uh, so... For, I post the schedule for the weekend streams. I'm not sure which day the Animal Crossing Dreamlight Valley streams are on yet. Um, when I know I'll post them, though. Um, I'm kind of going on a what do the next two to three days look like kind of thing at the moment. Um, I think I am leaning more towards uh, avoiding Mondays and Tuesdays for streams. Um, because for a lot of people, it doesn't work that well. Oh, we got a hound on us. Oh, He's no longer on us. Okay. And then I'm uh, leaning towards more when I stream Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays uh, type deal. Um, obviously, I'll still like toss in some surprise streams and stuff, but I'm trying to. Yeah, it is. I don't know. Let's look up Gordo. Gordo's task. Because it says it's available, but I don't see him here. And I don't want to miss the quest. So, let's look at Gordo's task. Wow, classic. Apparently it should just be there. Well, I don't know. Oh, nice. Yeah, happy home is nice and relaxing, so I get that. Yes, hula stitch. Hula stitch. That's why I've been leaning towards when I play hard mode lately, is to get some happy home in. That, I really want to get that quest, but I mean, it's not there. Hmm. But yeah, I, I've been leaning towards happy home when I'm playing a hard mode Animal Crossing because it helps me get items towards decorating. And I'm kind of at a... Hey, we leveled. We leveled. We're level six. I'm just at a bit of a standstill with items uh, and decorating. So I still want to stick to hard mode, but I think uh, I'm going to do a lot of happy home. I'm going to probably spam it for a while. Oh no, yeah, I feel you, Holly, I feel you. You get used to, you definitely get used to something, and then when it's not there. Yes, level hype, I'll take it. Oh, he's here. Quest tracker's being rude. I was searching for him over there. Okay, hi, Go this is Gordo. It says, oh, it's not reading the quest like it does. Okay. I guess some of them aren't voice acted. Uh, Master wants weeds. Uh, Scott's big hands and not good at picking. You help us and we not hurt you. I sneak gloom weed. Many weeds around here and near road. When you have gloom weed, you take to Master Holland in Brill Graveyard. Okay. We're going to collect some uh, weeds for him. And we have an, uh, someone in here. It's green, so let's go inside. A journeyman Taylor. <gasps> Taylor. May I, help you? I don't know what is going to be good in WoW Classic, but I assume being able to have, like, gear and bags and stuff. 
I think I'm gonna be a tailor. I've never been a tailor before. I honestly have no idea, Holly, until I get tired. Uh, probably a long stream tonight. Tailoring. I wonder if it's a good idea. <laughs> Cause getting the fabric's gonna be hard. I can always unlearn it if I hate it. I've never done tailoring an accident before. Now, when do we actually get something useful? Linen bag. Yeah, I want that. Let's see. I know I got some six slot bags already, but still. Let's see. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and train this as well. Victory for Silvanus. Oh, hey. Ashley, thank you for gifting a membership. That is so wonderful of you. Congratulations, Holly. Welcome back to your emotes that's so sweet you guys are the best like every time i stream and y'all show up it's like the most wholesome stream ever <laughs> you guys are legit the absolute best thank you thank you thank you what, sir? absolutely what thank you we'll see if you have what it takes. hmm where i have all these stream chats where i'm in twitch and here at the same time i don't think it's gonna let me will it let me try this let's see if it works my nightbot is confused. Let's see if it worked. The music will come back, I promise. <laughs> it did it. Okay, the game sounds gonna come back in a second. There we go. Apprentice Clothier. Clothier? Clothier? Um, let's sell this because it's mace. I don't have the ability to use that yet. Stringy wolf meat. Oh, that's gonna be for cooking. We should probably hold on to that. These are upgrades, but they're like legit expensive, so we're not gonna be buying anything here. Oh, my watch is buzzing. Oh, I need to turn that off. My litter robot's li linked to my Apple Watch, and every time the cat uses the box, and then the litter robot wants to go spin in circles, and the cat sticks its head in it repeatedly, my watch's chain buzzes on my wrist currently. <laughs> Zelda pre-orders, nice. Ooh, I heard something, guys. I heard something on the Zelda game. It's not really a spoiler, but if you were to look on, like, Amazon for those amiibo packs where you can get, like, the knockoff cards printed for, like, cheap for a whole bunch of them, I've heard that it might not hurt to get your hands on a stack of Zelda amiibo cards. Like, the knockoffs, because actually buying the amiibos is ridiculously expensive. <laughs> But the bundles where they have like all the cards, I've, I've heard that's a good idea. I won't say more because I don't want to spoil anything. <sighs> Litter Robot is so cool. I liked my three better than the four. I'm not going to lie. Um, and the reason, wow, he is going down slow. I like my three better than the four is the four has this felty liner across the bottom half of it. And one of my cats has long fur. So if any of her fur gets stuck on it and it's turning, it trips the cat fault sensor. It thinks there's a cat in there and it stops spinning. Aww. Hopefully that means it'll be a great day for you. Hopefully that means it'll be a great day. We're, we're gonna be a tailor. I don't know if that's a great idea because we're probably just gonna wear like gear we get, but anything that helps us survive, if we can get better gear out of it and stuff like that, I'm all for. Huh. Where's that quest turn? It goes up here. Over here's Gloomweed. So we need to look for Gloomweed in the surrounding area and not get our butts kicked. There's a gloomweed. And who knows? I may end up changing the profession. I just have never done... Never actually leveled tailoring before. Might be expensive. Is there a gloomweed over here? 
I'm trying to find safe spots to find gloomweed. To where you don't get ganked. Oh, it's all good, Holly. I, um... I had a break. I accidentally fell asleep earlier. I just don't know how long I was asleep. So honestly, I'm not sure. But that's the third shift life. It happens, you know? Sometimes when you fall asleep, you wake up and you're like, what day is it, you know? So I had some amount of sleep. I just don't know if it was a proper amount of sleep. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. I like being zoomed out a bit more just for safety. So you can see if you're gonna accidentally like run into some mob or something. Let's see if we can find the last gloom weed while we're over here. Very carefully. Oh, gloom weed, where are you? Gloomweed spawn point. There we go. Newly committed. Nice. I have, um... You know the amoeb... The... What are they called? Uh, it's like the mechanical thing with all the arms sticking out of it that attacks you and it's like dangerous and the first... Uh, Zelda. I forgot what it's called. I have that amiibo. It's still in the box, though, because I can't bring myself to open. It's really, really big. Hey, definitely. I'll probably be on here for quite a while. Thank you for stopping by, and congrats on getting your emotes back. That's... And thank you, Ash. That is really sweet of you. Let's see. I don't want to look away too long. I have a couple Zelda amiibos over there. I just don't remember which one they are. I think I actually have... I have a lot of the Breath of the Wild ones. I think I have like three of them. <clears throat> I'm gonna buy the knockoff stack of cards at some point. Here we go. Ah, a putrid task. And he will tell us where anything is that we need. Scourge have trickled into <clears throat> Nice, nice. Okay. <clears throat> I think my chat might be itty bitty on the screen. Let me fix that a little bit. Because I thought I made it a proper size, but I think I made it itty bitty. Because I wanted to see the death log, but... I can kind of read the death log to you guys when we have people die in there. If anything's impressive. But if I do it like this, you can still kind of see the numbers. So I think that's a little bit better. Okay, there we go. No, it's still a bitty. I thought it was better. I lied. Let's do this there. That's a little bit better. And then... Let's... Once this gets in place, it's really hard to move. Like, if I reload UI, I can kind of pull it. Let's accept this quest. Let's do a reload UI real quick. Also, it's pretty good to reload UI every once in a while, just in case. Because you never know when something's going to mess up, and you don't want something to mess up and then die from it in hardcore. Nice. Those are good ones. Those are good ones. There we go. Now we can move this. So if I'm going to move this with keeping in mind, our chat is right there. I can kind of go more vertical with it. Oh, I wonder how narrow, because that will take off a level there. Let's... I mean, that's not bad. It's not exactly lined up, but... That'll work. Because we can see the more recent ones. And then we have the chat here, even though I've got nothing there on my screen. But the chat's there. So I think I like that a little bit better. There's a Best Buy exclusive Majora's Mask link. Nice. Nice. Honestly, I find, like... Uh, pre-ordering any amiibos you can is normally worth it and even if you end up like not needing them or you're like wow I didn't like this much in person they always go for more later mm -hmm. now that we're away from all the aggro mobs I grab one of these strawberries real quick <laughs> just take me a second Hey, 
Hey, thanks for stopping by, Holly. Ah. Ooh, nice, nice. <clears throat> I've been so bad about anything. Um, because, like, I pay attention to anything that I could possibly pre-order because I'm trying to, like, be a bit more responsible with, like, the, the budget. But there are things I know I would have really liked to have. We need to get this preacher cause back there. But um, let's do some turning in and picking up a quest before we go and start working on those. But, yeah, I, I do have two things that I have to uh, get what I'm excited for. Uh, the new Zelda game, of course, I've got pre-ordered. And Final Fantasy 16. I've got that pre-ordered. So when Final Fantasy 16 comes out, we'll be playing that on here. Speak quickly. Wait, what? Continue. You have performed your okay. This just had dots, so it's really weird. Harmless pumpkins, right? Or oh, I feel ya. If we are to defeat Argus's advances from the north and the human infestation from the south, we need to start realizing the full potential of our gift of undeath. With a little ingenuity, a simple pumpkin becomes an agent for our dark lady. This pumpkin, laced with my latest formula, will prove to be quite a treat. Yet another scarlet zealot has been captured and is being kept in the cellar of the gallows end. Take this pumpkin to the fool. Take this pumpkin to the fool. Wow, they sure are underhanded with some of their words sometimes. Lady Sylvanas has called upon the Royal Apothecary Society. The Dark Lady believes our knowledge coupled with the newfound magic will provide the key to Arthas's demise. She has challenged us to concoct. Mm -hmm. We are making progress, Paige. We are. This yeah, they are. They are actually. Scourge army to ruin. My studies show that the blood of beasts might prove to be the key. Bring to me five vials of darkhound blood so I can test my theory. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Remember. We're gonna have a lot of quests out here. Herbalist. Hmm. Before I decide on a second profession, and while we're staying in a safe spot, I'm gonna Google real quick. Uh. What people think, because I know we're going to do like our normal professions, like cooking and all that. But I'm curious for a second profession. Best profession. Wow. Classic. I wonder if anyone said specifically parkour. Well, I can't type. Okay. Enchanting plus tailoring. I wonder if that works as well in hardcore. It's definitely recommend uh, enchanting plus tailoring. Um, skinning, it says, is the most profitable. Interesting. Followed by alchemy, herbalism, and mining. I love mining. I love herbalism. We could just go herbalism and mining and just go for the money and just do gear drops, and then we don't have to make all the gear. That is a hard choice. Oh, wait. We can't use the auction house, so herbalism and mining wouldn't work. Well, shoot. So I guess I've never done alchemy before either. I've got to think through the profession thing on hardcore a bit more before we decide on a second profession. That's like a that's a hard choice considering, like you can't use the auction house and you can't trade. How the how you're supposed to get stuff that you haven't gathered yourself? Okay. Woohoo! Undead horse merchant. On behalf of the. I have to. That's level 40? For the forsaken. These beasts have endured trials. Level 60. As we all have. And what do we get at level 20 then? Have emerged stronger and more resilient than mere mortal flesh would have had them destined to be. Please respect them for yourselves. 
Uh huh. They're great. I want one. Current pitch table pet. Horse riding instructor. Be quick. I can teach you the finer points of skeletal. Okay. Level you have enough gold to 40. Shoot. Beware. Maybe it was decreased in uh in an update at some point. I could have swore it was twenty, but I'm losing my mind. This had better be good. Yes, this is very good. You've done well in obtaining this information, adventurer. Hmm. Names of the officers in the Tirisfall Glades. Imagine the blow we could deal to the morale of those bloody zealots if we were to kill their leaders in one swift stroke. Yeah, they would not be happy with that. Okay, I'll do it. The documents Executor Aaron provided are just the break we needed in our battle with the wretched Scarlet Crusade. We now know their exact locations throughout Tirisfall Glades. But the Death Guard has larger concerns. The Lich King's army grows in number each night. We need someone with initiative like yourself to drive the Scarlet Crusade to the grave. Prove to me you are capable of serving the Dark Lady by traveling west to the tower past the Soliden farmstead and slay ten Scarlet okay. Warriors. Quest. Here we go. We're gonna have a lot of quests, guys. The mass graves southwest of Garen's haunt to the north were made to accommodate the impressive number of deaths Tiras Fall suffered when the plague first came. The bodies in these graves have so far been spared and undeath, but the Scourge now send rot-hide gnolls to gather the corpses and use them to bolster their armies. This okay. can't be allowed. Your task is twofold. Slay the rot hides at the mass grave and Garen's haunt and gather from them the embalming icor that gives them life. Um North of Brill Ooh, we're not doing that for a while. That's a level 10 quest. Uh we probably should not do that at least until we're level 10. But we picked it up, so I'll just keep it on us. Uh, can we sell some stuff away to you? about your business not really uh, especially we're gonna learn cooking maybe we can get rid of the stringy wolf beat for now okay we got some stuff over here now let me read the rules on the mail real quick uh one second while i pull up this it's gonna flicker rules okay i'm bringing the rules over okay Rules on the mail, because I'm pretty sure I have, I don't know if I have any mail in there or not. Talents, trading, auction house, no trading of any kind with other characters, even for conjurables like made food or water or warlock hellstones. So yeah, we're going to be, we're probably going <clears> to <throat> just like disenchant and sell gear for money, I guess, or it's just enchant. And then just make gear. I think making gear will actually be worth it. So I think we do go tailoring. No auction house, no player to player mail. Collecting NPC mail is permitted. Okay. So I'll scroll through these in case um, you guys didn't get all the rules earlier, but these are the rules. And then verified runs versus unverified runs. Basically, you're running the add-on from the very beginning with the verified run. And if you, uh, at 60, you can submit your run for verification. And then disconnects and grief or death protection. So basically, if you disconnect and die, or if you're griefed and die, you can appeal the death by sending a clip to um, a mod for approval. So that's good. So basically, if you, like, record it, you know, or stream it. I really ought to pick one of the guilds that's listed on there and just message them and get a join. 
I just want the... I want the one with the cute name to be on this side. Let's go here. What do you require? No? And we're good there. <gasps> Wait! Bags. Eight slot bag. 25 silver. Five silver for that. We could technically buy it, but we'd be poor. Sure, we're not gonna. But at least now we know we can get bags here. Because I don't remember where any of this stuff is. It's been ages. I haven't got all day. <gasps> Ooh. Um, let's see. Watch your back. Trade skills? Where are trade skills at? Is it in P? That's demon. General affliction. That's just spell book. I don't remember where anything is. Hey, found my quest log. <laughs> Come on. Trade skills. Nope. It's cool. The hardcore literally adds a tab for it. Okay. Main menu, world map, social quest log, spell book and abilities, character info. Where on earth are our trade skills? J U I O. No. Okay. Uh, I think it's been hidden by the add-on because I don't see a button for it. So, uh, shortcut for trade skill window. We're going to Google because I don't want to just keep pressing buttons. Window in wow. it let's call it profession window a lot of the stuff feels like um i'm just kind of not remembering where it goes ah here we go wow rookie keyboard shortcuts i like that it's from 2008 that sounds like it'd be good for us because this is classic so let's check that out Okay, abilities, talents, uh, shift I is pet spellbook, shift P is pet panel, skills pain is K. So this shows this, but it's not the profession when doing I'm thinking of. Your bags all at once is shift B. Reputation panel, hard panel, mat. oh, well my add-on fixes that. Social panel. Well, that didn't tell me either. Let's type uh, WoW Classic with that and see if we get a modern answer because 2008 was unfortunately different than WoW Classic. Skills panels, K. Okay. When was this written? This article has no date on it, so it's going to be all eternity on the internet with no date. I wonder if the professions window doesn't exist in the format that I remember it as at this point in time. Because I did start playing on the first expansion. Uh, when I played before that, I was only briefly on the hunter. Okay, well, we're probably going to just move on and find that later. I was just curious because, like, I can see my profession here. I just don't have the profession window that I'm used to. I may see about a professions add-on for WoW Classic to maybe get that window that I like. Because it's just easier for me to see it that way.
Let's maybe... Hmm. Grab a skinny knife, but then we need to learn skinning. Is there someone here that can teach us? I don't think there is in Brill. Okay. Well, I just walked like right through them. So we'll deal with that in a bit. I really want a multi-tool, like a gnomish multi-tool, I think it was. Not gnomish. Um, the multi-tool from engineering. That is so good. But I know that is a long way off. Can we repair? Nope. Okay. So, let's go ahead and turn in these two quests over here. And go on our way. And let's check the mailbox situation. Ooh, I want WoW UI. Okay, good. We have nothing. So we know we're in the clear there. Let's hop in here. First aid trainer. What? I can train you in first aid yes, please. I need first aid in my life. Goodbye. I've never noticed the music in here before. Has it always been like this in here? It's like jamming down in there. <gasps> demon trainer. Want to make your demons more powerful? It'll cost you, but you've come to the right place. Okay, we already know that one. And we're not high enough level for anything else. I've leveled up. Do you have anything for me, Mr. Warlock Trainer? We can get life tap. Nice. And we can get Shadow Bolt level two. Let's go ahead and train Shadow Bolt uh, rank two. Let's get life tap. Let's go ahead and pull up our skills here. Ooh, yes. Let's make our professions maybe go over here on this bar. So, like first aid, cooking. Maybe that's how I get to them. We don't have cooking yet. Let's grab tailoring. So f I, I think I'll go first aid, cooking, something, tailoring. And we have life tap. I'm gonna put it there. Life tap is one of those spells that, like, I will keybind everything else. I don't want to keybind life tap because I don't want to accidentally use it and kill myself at a bad time. Uh, so I will go out of my way to press it. So, oh, we, I forgot it doesn't auto replace itself back in the day, did it? So we have to manually swap it. Okay. I'm not sure what's up with that music. But it's like a jam. Innkeeper. We're probably going to bind when we get to Rest your weary bones for a spell. the Undercity, but let's try this quest. Really no business who the letter is from anyway. Go on, get lost. Come back when you've got some coin to spin. Look, next thing you know, okay. you're back to rest after a long day of adventure or some stupid thing like that. Oh, we can get much better food here eventually. Dark lady, what? Rest your weary bones for a spell. We have quite a few quests here, so we're gonna make this home for now. I'm like, imagine like a boombox somewhere playing the music. Okay, well, we learned first aid. So let's check out this. 
I want the WoW UI. Oh, that's so much better. Good. We'll be able to make bandages. That'll be good. Now, there's a window that combined all of those on one page. It's I, I'm thinking it's probably added in later in WoW's history, and I'm just bonkers and didn't realize that it wasn't always that way because I'm so used to it. Um, I really like that window, so hopefully I'll be able to find it. If not, we'll make a makeshift version of it over here. Oh, that's up in there. Okay. So, I think I missed talking to someone in here. I could be wrong, but I think I did. What? Down. There's down there next to it. Journeyman Enchanter. Hmm. This is literally the hardest part of the game. Deciding what you're doing. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I keep redeciding on the professions, guys. Okay. Okay, we're going to think more on that profession. It's not like we're not just about to go to the Undercity pretty soon. So, I really like the music in here. I'm not going to lie. Let's go find whoever this question mark is downstairs that's hiding from us. We're probably like right in an obvious place. I just didn't look. What? Who's being held in the cellar? Oh. I didn't realize the cellar stairs were there. Being a noob. Over here, being a noob. By the light, finally some food. Sweet, sweet pumpkin. He doesn't feel right. Oh no. My mind, my flesh, I'm rotting. Oh no. Okay, he's not attacking us. Are you okay there, bud? Are you just gonna stay that way? Okay, well. Oh, he's dead now. Okay. Well, we did that quest. Let's uh, head on our way here. Bye, friend. Whoa, his character actually is pretty cool. Okay, on our way. So, this. So we start to get a bit interesting. We have all of these over here. So I think let's turn in Gordo's quest and let's do the future clause because they're right there. And we'll focus Tom Tom to that. And uh, Gordo's quest is like right up here on the way to the future clause. So I think that'll be good. I think we grabbed uh, most of what we can grab down here. Ah, uh, I'm s I know we can't sell uh, stuff, basically, so I don't think gathering would be beneficial because we can only vendor. I'm pretty sure we can vendor, but I don't think that would work out very well. There he is. Wait, does he actually want me to bring this back to him? Master Holland in Brill Graveyard. Where's Master Holland?
Where on earth is Master Holland? Death Guard Linnea. Rear Guard Patrol. That's a level 11 quest. Oh, Hi, Sally. What are you doing? Sally just came over here and meowed at me. I have a feeling she's going to jump up on the top of my chair pretty soon. Uh. Okay. Well. Wonder if he's patrolling because I don't see him. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, two people just died in Hillsbred Foothill together. Oh no. Oh, he's wandering over here. There we go. They were level 24. What were their last words? Oh, our brave sister, a Big Sweep, the warlock, has died at level 24 in Hillsbred Foothills to a magistrate Burnside. Oh. They had it. I guess they had it set to say that. That's who we're looking for. There we go. Here's your gloomweed. What's this? Gloomweed? I've no need for gloomweed. That mindless man. Hey, Sally, is out please there don't. Daisies and convincing the lady knows how many dupes like you into doing the same. No offense. Very well, you're here now, and that's all that matters. Since I'm not going to bother to try to explain things to that abomination, how about you collect what I really need? Doom weed. So you can see the predicament that I am in. Of I like his robes. Out there collecting the wrong weeds. I'll make it worth your while to gather what I need. Bring back to me enough doom weed and I'll give you a suit. Okay. It is my understanding. So let's go through these level six quests. The doom weed. To the north of the brill. The dark hounds and the putrid claws. And then we'll work our way up. Doomweed is up here. The Grave Robbers. Those are level 8s. So I think we can take them. We're level 6. It's a bit risky. But our Doomweed's up here. Darkhound Blood is there. So we can head up to this general area. I think it might be advisable to be very, very careful. Well, we're up there, but basically we're going to be going north. I'm going to go ahead and just mark it for the Doomweed. Because it's going to take us to the correct uh, general direction. And we should be fine. Unless we die, then we'll be a little bit less fine. We'll have to start over. But, you know, you get the general idea. Where's my waypoint take me? Oh, okay. I'm, like, getting turned around. Oh, we just need to go this direction. I'm a dork. Hey, Grace! Welcome, welcome! Congrats on being off work! How are you doing? We're trying to stay alive in WoW Hardcore Classic. If we die, I gotta delete the character or leave it dead and never use it again, basically. Oh, I love mining. I know it's stupid, but I just, I love mining. Doomweed. I should have a spawn over here. There's not currently here. That's okay. Doomweed? Doomweed. There's a mob right there. We gotta be careful. Dude just died. Another dude just died. Last words. Been killing orcs here forever. No insignia yet. Oh no, he didn't get his insignia. Invite for guild. Oh, <laughs> poor buddy. Oh no. <laughs> Goodness. That last words part is really cute in the death log thing. It just is. Mine's going to be blank because I won't have joined a guild and I will have just been out here going around by myself because, you know, reasons. 
Honestly, I just feel bad joining the guild and then keeping the chat covered up because you never know when they're going to say something that's going to get you flagged or removed from the st a streaming platform. So you got to be very careful when you stream about letting any in-game chat pop up on your screen. Okay, here we go. That was weird. Is like it was gathering, but it wasn't. But it did. It was just wonky. Ooh, hello. Let's uh, take care of him real quick. I didn't even see him. That could have been bad if there was anything else over here, but we're fine. Okay, we got him. Let's resummon our minion. Not enough, Not enough mana. Yeah, we gotta be careful on those guys. They hit hard. He went through my imp really fast. There we go. On the bright side, we lived. That would suck so bad. We're level six. Oh my goodness. Imagine if we were on this list as level six, and like all these people are out here, like level 20 something dying. Goodness. Let's get these weeds real quick. I don't want to fight these guys yet. There's a little bit higher. Oh, that one's level six. He's fine. Rothide Knoll, do we need him? We need grave robbers. I don't know if we actually need the knolls. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm dying to something absolutely stupid. <laughs> Why is this not? Oh, that's the wrong kind of weed. It looks like the same one to me. No wonder the other guy got confused. And he was being all cranky about it. We need embalming ichor from the grave robbers. Ah. It's interesting having to actually go through each area and deal with the stuff. Is that full? Oh, the doom weeds. Oh, it is the same one. I just gathered it. I'm a dork. Okay, let's uh, track the dark hound. Nope, the putrid claws. The putrid claws are closer. Let's track those first. Because I want to be very, very, very careful with this. That's a lot of level eight quest. Who just showed up? Lost soul? Oh, shoot. Okay. You. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to get him up really quick. Come on. Okay, good. Click to target NPC. Seven rare. Uh, mana. Ooh, troll hunters die at 21. I gotta be a little bit more careful because that took us down to about a half and I don't like that. <laughs> that rare is over there. Oh, 
Okay. Whew. Did she give anything good? Uh, a, a wispy cloak. 20% upgrade. A bit scary for a 20% upgrade item, but we'll take it. Okay. Ravaged corpse. What's up with that? Wait, what? There's nothing over here. Okay, some of these are not the most accurate. Oh, there's Ravaged Corpse, and we need those for Putrid Claws. Okay, that's where we are. They're level sevens. Let's try one and just make sure we don't die before we try <laughs> the other ones. I mean, if we die, we're, we're screwed anyways. Okay. They're fine. We just can't pull more than one, so it's a little bit risky. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Um, I don't really know a lot of her songs. I know a couple of them, but the ones I've heard are pretty good. That's probably like an understatement. I heard just like amazing things about her. But you get the idea. I, I think she's cool. Whoa, Jesus. I'm going to hide that chat. <laughs> I didn't realize I ended up on the chat with them talking. Oh, they're being a, a bit degenerate in the chat. <laughs> Guys, the, the game chat, like, I am so sorry. Oh, my goodness. I hid that for now. Um, I really need to get something to cover up that portion of the screen. I try to keep it on another thing, kind of like the log or something like that, or loot. Loot's a little bit less spammy looking. That's level six. That's a bit better. I feel less bad attacking level six. Oh, good. <laughs> That's good. They were being questionable. Because <laughs> you never know when World of Warcraft chat is going to go from just perfect and fine and dandy to like, oh my gosh, why are they even talking about that? <laughs> you know? Ooh, good. Level fives. I feel better attacking these two. Are we still alive? Take care of minion. Perfect. We're gonna wait for the mana to regen. Hey, Sally, please stop it, honey. Please stop it. There we go. Oh, goodness. Okay, that's a little bit better. Carlos, attack. Carlos, attack. Okay, he's like, no. <laughs> I guess Carlos isn't going to attack until I attack the way I have him set up. I'll have to look at his settings. I don't want to be aggressive either, but if I cast Curse of Weakness on something, I would prefer that he consider that an attack, an attack. Let's go up here just for a little bit of safety. We're just going to be patient with our mana regen before we pull. That works a little bit better because it gets Carlos attacking sooner. At least for us for now. <laughs> oh, the the cats, yeah, kittens and, and cool cats. Um, if you're talking about like the um, membership batch, yeah, it's kitty cat. I don't want to pull that just yet. Oh, someone's like standing on me. They have me nervous. They thought I clicked my button. 
Like, dude, don't stand someone else and do that game. That's not nice. Level five, nice. Okay, and thank you guys for hanging out. I am having a blast. It's been so long since I leveled a character in WoW. Um, it just has been. Uh, I honestly, I want to check how long my original warlock is. I think she's. Let's see. Fifteen years old. Let's see. Seventeen years old. My original warlock somewhere between 15 and 17 years old. I still have her. She's sitting at level 92 right now, but then I leveled another warlock and she's max. I should really go back and level my original warlock at some point. Nice. Congratulations, Holly. Congratulations. There we go. It's amazing to think this game could even be that old. It doesn't feel like it. There's more recent games that look very bad in comparison. Um, I'm level six, so that's gonna help some. I should probably get in range. I really want my tanky pet. And when I get my tanky pet, I do take the effort to bind him to front and uh, back left mouse buttons uh, for attack and uh, not attack. <laughs> because then I can just send him in ahead of time and let him grab aggro. And then you're just running around basically with a free tank, which I definitely like. There we go. Let's, um, refresh that. Let's get ourselves some mana. I really want to start learning cooking. So if we can find the cooking vendor, that would be great. Okay. I'm going to check our stream health real quick. Oh, we're still going great. It says it's excellent. Uh, both YouTube and Twitch are loving the new stream settings. And this is in the stream manager. It looks good. We're looking good. Yep. Okay. Probably a dangerous spot for me to have checked that, but that's fine. So now let's track Dark Hound Blood. It's going to be 30 yards this way. So luckily we've been working our way kind of towards this. Oh, it's like literally right here. Is there one right there? That is. Okay. We're lying of sight to him though. I guess fishing would be good because you can use it for cooking. So that's a thing that we could definitely do. I like fishing and you don't very much die when you're fishing. So we could do like all the cool leveling up with fishing. I don't remember what fishing was like in classic. I do know I really like it with the upgrades they gave to it in uh, retail. So we'll have to see if it's something I do like in classic or if I hate it. Give him a little bit more distance, a little bit more distance. There we go. There we go. Okay. Come here, little buddies. I just need to kill you a little. Come here, little buddy, buddy, buddy. 
And they're like, what? You said, what did you say? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing, it's fine. I didn't say anything. Don't worry, little buddy. I'm just reading some things. Okay. Uh, they're kicking our butt a little bit. Sorry, that's my water bottle crinkling. I bought the cheap waters because, um, my water filter pitcher, I like it. And I remember Phil, sometimes I want cheap water bottles laying around. I know they're not the, the most friendly to the environment or anything, but I needed desperately to stay more hydrated since they have me on that prescription, you know? So now I got my water filter pitcher and when I haven't filled that, I've got my water bottles and they're also easy to keep refilling and like shaking up with like a drink mix in them, you know? So that helps too. We're gonna need to invest in bulk refreshing spring waters. <laughs> Goodness. I need some more of my spells. Maybe when we go back, since we've leveled, maybe we can uh, get some more spells. Uh oh. Who's over here? Bane? Who's Bane? Oh, my Apple Watch told me I didn't close my rings today. The fitness rings, you know? How are you supposed to, like, stand and do things? <laughs> I did them yesterday, uh, but today's a stream day, so it's uh, less realistic. I don't actually see him over here. It makes me a little bit nervous. Let's scooch away from this, because I don't want to be fighting one of those dogs and then have Mr. Bane spawn on me. So let's get a little bit further out on the demon dogs and go over here and work our way back over. Because we only need two more dark hound bloods and I would hate to die just doing that. So. Oh, I, it helps if I freaking cast my DOTs. There we go. Here we go, guys. I do sometimes find myself reaching for a spell that I'm used to having and it's just not there. But I'm trying to force myself to remember, this is what I have. You can tell I don't spend much time going back and leveling characters. I just don't, you know? But I'm glad I'm giving WoW Classic a try now and I guess, uh, you know, the hardcore aspect does make it more fun. Because otherwise, if I was just giving WoW Classic a try, I would, you know, be like, hey, have a friend give me and get money, you know, and then just go from there and boost everything up. <laughs> because, I mean, why wouldn't you, you know? We're just gonna let ourselves chill and regain some mana. <laughs> we killed all those little uh, dark hounds. We still need two more of their blood. Apparently those dark hounds were walking around with a very bad medical condition because they have no, no blood like at all. Just none. You would think. I always found it hilarious. Like the boars, they're like, get a boar's tusk or whatever. And it's like, yeah, I killed like 72 of these. I got three. Uh, goodness. It's all good though. There's Gordo. He's chilling. There we go. That's perfect. Carlos, come on. Attack faster. That works. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Oh, good. I looked afterwards to make sure my mana had regenerated. Um, 
you know, better late than never. We need one more. Come on, little buddy. Please? Oh! Okay. Oh, good. It still got him, even though he walked out of range. Ideal. I like it. I'll take it. Perfect. Good old fashioned turret style warlock. I will be glad if I can get my hands on something that I can do for damage when moving. But I mean, strategically moving only when you have to, like, I, I can do it. Uh, there was just a while, and I can't remember which expansion. One of the more recent expansions, maybe expansion before last or the one before that. There's a little while where warlocks could actually. Oh, we're going way down here. We got turn turns up there. We got a quest over there. Um, shoot. Let's hop by death now real quick. We'll at least grab the quest. Oh, you want to fight them? Oh, it's not like he said, oh, you want to fight then? I was like, what? No, I do not want to fight. We're, we're playing hardcore. No fighting. Oh, shit, fighting. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that's fine. That'd be so bad if he had killed us. I was just about to grab us up my water. I didn't realize. I thought he meant you want to fight them. Oh, Okay. Calvin. Okay, okay, give me a minute to rest now. You gotta beat me up good. <laughs> I forgot that this happened. <laughs> Defeat him. Okay, that's interesting. I, uh, I totally misread that text. Thank goodness we have voiceover for like the rest of the quest so they don't do that. <laughs> there we go. Incredible. <laughs> Said it'd be, but that's uh -oh. not me lying to you in the first place. <laughs> that's not counting me lying to you in the first place. <laughs> Great, Calvin. I just dropped my water bottle in the floor. One sec, guys. I got to grab it. Okay, I am still here. The cat just tried to wrestle away the water bottle lid because she saw it hit the floor and it is as uh, she likes lids i just gotta get my headset back on because i lost it when i was trying to save the water bottle lid from the kitten all good we'll make it we do not trust calvin anymore calvin is on the cranky list okay trust no, <laughs> trust no one exactly calvin jesus what a what a jerk. Okay, up here we have Scarlet Warriors. Those are level eight. We have some turn-ins over here. Oh, that's a that's a long way back without a mount. And then we have these. I think maybe we can take the Scarlet Warriors. We are level six. I don't think we should. I think we should turn in our quest and maybe level up some. So let's go back to Brill. I know it's a long run, but we can run back there. I just not, I'd rather not be going against a bunch of level eight mobs when we're still level six. Let's see if we have any upgrades in here. Can I use this yet? No. Lame. Yeah, definitely. Uh, she stopped by and she got a gifted membership. It's a good night. Glad to have you all here, by the way. Uh, thank you, thank you, everyone. I know it is 
um i guess late night for me maybe not late night for some of you all but uh i'm glad to have you guys here okay Headed our way over here. I'm just gonna try to actually follow the the roads. Now, I know some of you guys are mostly cozy gamers, so you have played WoW, some of you haven't. But if you haven't played WoW and you start playing WoW, if you're wanting to avoid the majority of combat, you can just follow the road. Um, I tend to have good luck with just following the road. There we go. Headed on our way. That's going to be a long run back. I guess technically we're about to be level 7. So we could have started the Scarlet Warriors, but I feel a bit better at least trying these in leveling up first. We could have Hearthstoned. That probably would have been smart. All good, though. Let's sell some stuff in here real quick. We're about to be back anyways. We're just across the road. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That's great. Quest items. Okay. String of wolf meat. How much money do we have? Hey, we're up to like three and a half silver. Look at us. We're like... We're new poor. <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry if you hear scratching, guys. My cat is finishing up his pate, and for some reason, he feels the absolute need to bury it repeatedly. Um, I don't know. It's a him thing. He's very protective of that empty food bowl now that he finished up the food. Okay. The uh, so where it said like it looks like one S, that's a five. For some reason, uh, the f the font they use in this the the fives look like S's to me. Okay, a putrid task. Hey, he's giving me a whole silver. I leveled. Score. Ooh, a new quest. We're gonna get some pants with 13 armor. The next fork north, then keep going north. When you see windmills, the battle will begin. Okay. So what we'll do over here is we'll get the rest of these turn-ins done. And we will also pick up anything we can. That way we can kind of just go down from lowest to highest level on these. Hello. Here you go. You have done well. Oh no, look at all these people. I mean, at least there's no 40s in there or anything like that. The highest one I see is like a level 23. Poor little Willy Kit, uh, no last words. Let's see the 20. Last word, F. <laughs> oh no, poor Lenny C, oh goodness. Oh goodness, these poor people. I'm gonna end up being on that list at some point. I know everyone makes a mistake eventually. I think I've always said reagents wrong. I call them regents. <laughs> I guess I should start saying that right. Cause he said reagents. Okay. Yes, nice to see a friendly face. I don't get much chit chat from apothecary Johanna. Mana, 
He's been out of the grave. Rejuvenation. Someday I'll be like that, I hear. Creepy. Maybe by We can get health potions if we do this. But what do we need to make uh Mana Troll's blood potion. Uh, what do we make that out of? Two health. Uh, that doesn't. S I mean, two health every five seconds for an hour. That's like an extra, an extra heal going on. But I'm not gonna remember to use those. I'm not a. I'm not a remembering to use the potions person. Like if I got a healing potion, yeah, I'll use it. But just uh, something to use to give me re health regeneration, I will forget. Two quests are over in here. Mushroom farmer. Oh, just a bunch of mushrooms. Okay. Well, there we go. He has mushrooms. I really like the music in here. Beware the living. Serve the Forsaken by defeating the Agamans who fell to the plague. Serve me by bringing me their remains. I am Forsaken. Okay. That's fine. Let's get the other quest real quick. Devlin Agamand was the younger of two sons in the Agamand family. And in life, the two could not be more different. Thurman was tall and gentle, while his younger brother was weak and sharp-tongued. When Agaman Mills fell to the plague, I was not surprised to hear that Devlin was quick to succumb. His mad chattering can still be heard near the road leading to the Agaman Mills. I'm collecting the remains of the Agamans, and I want poor Devlin. Find him, destroy him, and bring me his bones. Jesus. Find him, destroy him, and bring me his bones. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to keep those for now. Um, I'm going to see how we learn to use staves. Let's see. Warlock, how to learn stabs. Wow, classic, because I don't remember this. And Ogremar. Okay. So the Undercity Weapon Master will not teach us how to do stabs, apparently. We're going to have to go to Ogremar. Okay, Ogremar, Undercity, or Thunder Bluff, but apparently Undercity won't let us. But another person says Undercity will. I'm so confused. We'll try Undercity. Because otherwise, getting to Ogremar is not necessarily easy just yet. Because I'm just trying to see if we want to hold onto that staff. Or by the time we learn how to use a staff, if we're going to have something far better and should just sell that now for the money. Well, I'd be wise to sell it now for the money. Wait, who's this? Gretchen Deadmar. Oh, Gretchen! Where are you? Are you upstairs? Yep, she is. Oh, I had so much fun playing a hunter when I did. I need to level a hunter at some point, guys. It's so cold now. 
The plague of undeath crawls through my veins like an icy serpent. The mindless state will be upon me. Jesus. Soon, but no doomed destiny will prevent me from serving our dark lady. When the call arose, I sewed body bags for the fallen soldiers of Sylvanas' mighty arm. Now my hands shake from the chill. If you would bring me five dust bat pelts and some coarse thread, I could sew myself a blanket. Oh. Help me, adventure. Okay. So that I can continue to serve the cause. Okay. So we need to get our blanket. So we've got quite a few quests here. Now, obviously, we're not touching level 10 and 11 ones yet because we're level 7. But it's not going to hurt to have those picked up at the moment. <gasps> Ooh, it's raining. Look at that. I love the rain. Okay. We've got a quest to turn in somewhere. But where is this question? Under the corner of this? So he paths along there, apparently. Okay, let's go get that uh, Doomweed quest turned in, because it's a level six. This will be good. Gotta refresh this. We're going. I'm gradually regaining the hang of things. Uh, we could actually just set TomTom -tom waypoint. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I already got turned around. There he is. Let's hop the fence over here. Perfect. Come back. I need to talk to you. I did your quest with the weeds and stuff. This better be good. Ah, my doomweed. Excellent. These will come in quite handy. You've done me, uh, the lady, a fine service today, adventurer. As promised, here is the reward that you Nice, you gave me 1.25 silver. Very nice. You have to wonder, for that voiceover add-on, that must have taken them a lot of time because it had to voice act all the stuff right and then they had to do the little pop-up of the character's head and face moving like it's talking and they all match the characters that you're talking to so that's a lot a lot of work now we're up in this area we can start working on the grave robbers and the dust bat pelts i think right yeah grave robbers dust bat pelts coarse thread Let's check this out. Maybe I need to buy the coarse thread from the... Whatchamacallit trainer? Tailoring trainer? Maybe I'll find one. I don't know if coarse thread can even drop off of a mob. Grave robbers. Best pet pelts. Best pet pelts. It looks like we're pretty safe to come out here and just kind of hover over mob and click on it. Let's see. He's one that we need. He's too far away. Oh, he's charging. He's charging. There we go. Okay. I'll let him regen real quick. Before you go hopping in. Okay.
There we go. We got one of the embalming nicker. Nice. Okay. Oops. Ooh. Well, my enemy nameplates are turned on. Apparently they weren't. It's a bit wild. Come down here off the road. That'll work. There we go. Well, I guess they are taking that mob. Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting the way out of that. I wonder if they're hardcore or not. Because this is not a hardcore server. There's just a lot of people who play hardcore on it. So you will run into people who are just playing normal on this server. Okay, I guess we're fighting this guy. We're gonna have to push this. Okay. Let's get our mana back and get our, um, our little buddy back. Our little demon buddy. Just people running around with like a metric ton of mobs chained to them and everything just going chaos. It's one of those things I, I just uh, in general try to avoid when I'm playing, but if I'm playing hardcore, wow, yes, absolutely avoid that. Well, I'm going to check something while we're summoning over here. Okay, good. Stream health is still excellent and perfect in Twitch and in YouTube both. So we are going strong, guys. We are going strong. Honestly, streaming in Twitch, because I streamed in Twitch before, I just didn't stick with it. I went to YouTube because I got monetized at YouTube, you know, and uh, YouTube's good. But streaming in Twitch reminds me of those early days in YouTube when I wasn't monetized. And I was like, hey, I streamed and I got like three people. And I was like so excited, <laughs> you know. And now I'm just like, yeah, I, uh. I streamed and it was like the middle of the night. <laughs> but it is all good. Okay, he is pathing. He's an embalming icker. Okay. Why is he running him off? Dude. That's annoying. O-S-R-S. O-S-R-S. What's that one? Sorry, I, I'm probably just not remembering what that one uh, is. O-S-R-S. I thought I'm out of the loop. Okay, this place looks pretty okay. Old school runescape. Oh, you know, I don't know if I could. Um, I tried to convince myself to try it a long time ago, and then I was going to, and then I just can't make myself do it. <laughs> I don't know if it's just I don't have a, I don't, maybe don't feel a connection to it. I never played RuneScape. Um, but yeah, I look at it and I'm like, okay, it's, I, 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 I could, and then I can't. <laughs> yeah. I think there's probably something that I'm I'm spoiled, you know, at this point. I'm a little bit spoiled. Let's do this, because we have them coming from both sides. We want to be careful. 
Let's go from here. Oh, my emulate didn't take. I think I turned in the last second. My mouse is super duper sensitive. It's one of those Logitech super lights. And it's all well and good, but um, it's so light that sometimes I won't realize I'm shifting it with my hand and it'll move like mid cast. So that's the one reason I miss my good old heavy mouse. But it's okay. Oh, really? So you really like RuneScape then? I could see really liking that game if you grew up with it. I know a lot of people really like it now. So I know there's got to be something to it and a reason for why people like it so much. But that's cool that you grew up with it. I don't want that guy to path into me. I'll be full mana when I attack. Come on, mana. I don't wanna I don't wanna waste my refreshing spring water, guys. We're poor. Oh, we are poor here. Okay. Come on, Carlos, get attacking. Carlos is he's like, I'm working part-time today. <laughs> I'm loving the rain. Curse of Thul, spirit reduced by two. I don't care, it's fine. We need these guys still too, so this be good. Okay. We're making progress. I need to remember that we bound at that inn. I hope it was the most recent inn. Oh no. Ooh, this person died 20, 30. Oh no. Oh, Green Orker. I can't say the name right. Ork? See? <laughs> um. Diet level 30, last words, I sad. Oh no. This person's talking about their ping, Aftured. He says, I get max 30 millisecond? It's not a bad ping. I mean, it's not great. <gasps> Atomic. What? There's last word. Across from leatherworking. Oh no, he's giving someone advice and then he got killed. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe those are far apart. Maybe he didn't talk much. Maybe went off and quested or something and then died. It would suck if you got distracted giving someone advice and like a mob came up and just killed you. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get this guy. Let's heal up here real quick. <sighs> Woo, okay. On with the show, let's see. It is refreshing to see so many people doing something like this. I hope the excitement sticks out. I hope they get an official server and I hope it keeps people excited for playing. And, you know, at least until, you know, I know some people will be only classic, but you, you never know when they might do something with retail that is uh, better than what they've been doing. Look, we definitely do not need to go down Vilefin Petal Jumper to the Murlocs. I know the rain's really heavy, but you can see the uh, coastal area there. Yep. Oh. Nothing worse than getting swarmed by murlocs, especially, I don't know, there's just something about it as a caster. Maybe it's really bad for melee too. It just feels awful because you're so squishy. 
And sure, you get spells eventually that help combat that, but in the beginning, you don't really have a lot of that. It's like, hey, would you like to survive better? You got like one thing that's gonna help you out a little bit here. Have some demon skin. Um, you don't have any drain life yet. It's like, would you like to tap your own life? And like, well, I guess so. I mean, I like mana, cause we can do that. And it saves us a little bit of waiting cause health regens faster. Like, you know, but give me life drain. <laughs> I would much rather at this point in the game have had life drain early on and get life tap later because you can make up for the lack of life tap for the most part with this because I mean if you can't kill it you shouldn't really be going in and just pushing it so hard with life tap maybe it's just me hey we got one of our embalming knickers let's go here Oh, it helps if I target. There we go. Ooh, resisted. Okay. This is a lot of mobs for this little quest hub. Like, that's a lot, a lot. 10 Scarlet Warriors. And then on top of that, we need the notched ribs, the blackened skulls. So it means you're probably gonna be killing 10 of whatever those come from each. Dust bat pelts, coarse thread, the 10 Scarlet Warriors, rot high grave robbers, mongrels, and ichor. That's quite a bit of mobs. but I think it will be quite a bit of experience. Okay. Oh. Now oh, we got someone else on us. We're gonna have to be very careful. Jesus. Mr. Fizzy, get him. Aw, oh, shoot. Oh no, guys. Oh no. <laughs> running, running, running. I think we might actually die. That's bad. <laughs> There's two of them and one patrolled into the pet. Let's see if I can get away. Let's get our health to regen up. Let's just run away, run away, run away. And see if they'll de-aggro. I hope we don't die. I need to get Mr. Fizzy uh, back. Okay, they de-aggroed. <laughs> I thought we were gonna die for a second. Oh my goodness. I did not see him pathing there. Okay, so this is a safe spot for a second. I'm gonna take a sip of my water. I was nervous. I don't want to die at level seven. I want to die at level 30. <laughs> so it can be even more awful when I have to redo it. Oh goodness. Okay. Plus, we don't want to lose Carlos. He's got a cool name. While we're up here, we're relatively safe. Just double checking how stream health is looking. It's looking good. It's looking good. Okay. And let's check this out. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna be careful when we're gonna approach that from the edge because he's right there. He passed there. We wanna be careful not to take too much uh, fall damage. Need to loot this. 
He's going for that one. I think if he's going for that one, I can probably go for this one. Nope, we can go for this one right there. Mr. Fizzy, get him. Ooh, he hits hard. Why is he hit so hard? Let's nuke him down. Okay, we got him. He goes right through the pet. I'm just not used to so many players being out, so everything respawns so fast. Because he had just killed right there. Let's try over here. Helps if we had the pet out. We could level, that'd be good. Let's see if we have anything in the bag we can equip. Oh! Yes, please. Another bag. Those are quest items. Gear we can sell. Target spirit for three by 30 minutes. Eh. Oh, a minor healing potion. We'll put that in the bar. We have one healing potion now. The rest is stuff. Oh, weak troll's blood potion. Two health uh, for five seconds for an hour. Yeah. We'll use that. We'll put it over here with this sh uh, shield you do. Okay, we'll reuse this. I think that should help make us a little bit more... Um... A little bit less squishy. <laughs> we can be a little bit less squishy. I just don't like that respawn spot. They spawn back in so quickly right now. Let's go around the back of here. Very carefully. Because that little corner between the two houses is just a little bit dangerous. Let's go over here and get this guy in the middle of the field. Okay. Yeah, that health regen's good. Zoom a bit further out. I'm so glad we didn't die. <laughs> Like, for my first attempt, I at least want to make it above 10. I prefer to make it above 20. 30 would be ideal. If I can keep going and just be very careful um, beyond that, that would be good. It's not something I necessarily trust myself to be that careful with. I'll try. Okay. I just don't like that area by the house. Let's go this way further. This is a bigger open area. Further and farther apart. Embalmy knicker. Yes, please. I'd like one of those from you. Perfect. No? He said no. Okay. Would you like to give me some, sir? Ooh. Okay, we're fine there. We are still short an embalming icker. Let's try him.
Come on, little buddy. Embalm maker? No. Oh. Okay. Well, we're trying. No embalming nicker. Wow. They do not want to drop them balmy nicker. They're just being rude. I wonder, can we slash sit? Does that help restore? I can't remember. Maybe that's faster. I don't know. Okay. Now, I'd like to get us to a safe spot for a second because I bought these, um, what are they called? Not rice crackers, not rice crisps. They're like round and fluffy and they're made of rice. Rice cakes. I want to grab one of those. They're so good. There we go. Can I get up here-ish? Okay. If I die here, this would be so bad. Let's see how far the... I think we're fine. Oh, real life. They're so good. So, there's aggro mobs down in that area, but I think we're fine. Um... If I die, we'll start over, guys. <laughs> I hope we don't die. Um, but I'll be right back uh, with the rice cake. Yeah, they're good. I'm gonna grab the mini ones because they're like all tiny. You don't have to break them apart. One sec, guys. I'm not gonna put the beer back screen. I'm, I'll just literally be right back. I'm basically back. We're not gonna die. I'm back at the keyboard, so that's good. Nightbot says we should take a second to stretch, which is impeccable timing because I just did. Um, health is good. Moving the legs around every once in a while is good. So if you guys haven't stretched in a while, friendly reminder. Ah, goodness. There we go. I figured out a way to situate a chair that I have kind of underneath the back side of my desk. So like if I've been sitting in one way for too long after I stretch, I can kind of prop my feet up. So honestly, for me, that helps a lot. Ooh, someone just died at 22. What are their last words? None. What about this other person? Shuberous? What? Oh, and Nightbot also said we should drink some water. Okay, one sec. Nightbot's being bossy. I gotta drink some water now. Mm. Oh, thank you, Nightbot. Now, I know I can't have Nightbot linked to um, YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So it only lets you have it linked to one of them. But, if you have the chat and the screen, at least the people on Twitch could see it. As long as they're not getting rowdy, it's fine. Okay. <gasps> can we make a bandage yet? <gasps> we can! 
I'm nervous about anything spawning there, so I'm just gonna create these one at a time. But guess what? We can make bandages, guys. And this is gonna help us level up. I see that guy right there. Tucking behind the window. I wanna make these windows transparent, but still the original WoW windows. We're learning first aid, like a boss. Oh no, he tried. Some of these names, oh goodness. I feel like people made their names more interesting knowing that they're playing WoW Hardcore and they may lose the character. So I think someone went a bit more risky with the names. Okay. I guess Nightbot felt like I hadn't talked in a while. All good. All good. And thank you guys again for hanging out. I'm having a blast. Uh, my apologies if I crunch at the mic any. I'm trying to be far away from the mic when I have any of these. But honestly, when I play a game like WoW, I get kind of distracted and sometimes I do things like crunch at the mic. Okay. Let's make another. Uh, so we'll get more linen. I'm just trying to think. I don't remember if we use... Um, I don't remember if we... How much linen we use uh, if we level... Tailoring. It's all good. We need bandages now. So we can pull this down. So mana, health, health. 66 over 6 seconds. Yeah, bandages are much faster than mushroom caps. That's good news. So I'll definitely be good. Okay. Mmm. He's close enough to see his nameplate. We need him. I think we're okay. So let's get the DOT stacked first. Oh yeah, we're fine. Perfect, that works for me. I like kind of going from the outskirts of an area and looking in because I just don't want to have something spawn in on me and take me out. Because if you look at it wrong, and let's say you're aware of one place it was going to spawn in, but there were two, and you're like, oh, I got this one, I can handle the one that spawns in, and then you have two that spawn, in, and then you're dead, that's your run through. It's It's gone. Like that guy right there. Oh, good. Uh -uh. Hey, another one down. Give me your items. No. Oh, wow. I wonder if this has the original uh, drop rates from Classic before they adjusted them. Because <laughs> I kind of think that they would do that. I hadn't thought about that, but I remember some of these questions just took ages, but it's nice and it's relaxing because it's not like you're just like running and doing the quest immediately. It's done and then you're just on to another area. You spend a very good while in each area as you go, especially if you want to do the side quests and not just, you know, roll your way through it. Come on, Carlos, attack more. Oh, we didn't even need him. Okay. So let's regen. 
the mana real quick. We do need dust bat pellets. Let's go across the way and get dust bats because we're having not a lot of luck in the drops off these rot hide grave boars. And I think if we're killing some dust bats, they'll probably get us to level up and make the grave boars hit us just a little less harshly. So I think that'll, I think that'll be good. I'm not even going the right way. <laughs> Oh, it's good, sir. We need rot hide grave robbers. So we see the grave robbers. That's who we need. There we go. We need these guys. I'm so used to five having immolate on it on my bar. There we go, we got some pelts. Skinning would honestly be good money. Because you don't even have to craft with it. You can literally just skin and sell it. Because if you skin every mob you ever run into the game, that adds up. Thank you, everyone. You have stuck around for four hours, 34 minutes, and 32 seconds. Wait, I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are, too. And enjoying whatever games or shows you happen to be watching or playing in the background. Be just resting. Whatever's working for you today. Make sure we... Yep, he's tagged. The grass is a little bit tall looking. Tall and fluffy. He's like, hey, I don't like this curse you put on me. Um, Grace is slightly different. Um, it is... I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I think I had to go with Barb Plays Games on Twitch. Because uh, Barb Plays was taken but inactive. So I think it's me over there. I really appreciate you following me over there. I ought to add it as a Nightbot shortcut for people to pull like the Twitch link. But I didn't think to do that. I maybe did it in the stream description. I can't remember. There's so many links in the stream description now. I kept getting asked, well, what's in your computer? What do you use to stream? What do you use to stream like Switch and all that? Oh, yes. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Grace, for following me on Twitch. I am trying to get affiliate on Twitch because I only focus on YouTube uh, because I, I got monetized on YouTube really quickly. And I used to stream on Twitch some, but I never really did much with it. I kind of just abandoned it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's so wonderful. I appreciate it. Once I manage to get monetization on Twitch, the plan will probably be because they have... Um, you can't stream to Twitch and YouTube at the same time if you're monetized on Twitch because they're a little bit controlling about that. We can upload after YouTube. But, well, I'll probably do is I'll put my MMOs my less cozy games on Twitch, and then I'll keep my cozy games on YouTube once that happens. And that's a general plan. But I think it'll be a while off. It's hard to get people in Twitch that aren't already in Twitch to a new person, you know? Because they're like, oh yeah, I was no one in that stream, and then barely anyone shows up. But it's all good. Sorry, I'm crunching on this rice cakey thing. They are... Sweet and spicy chili rice crisp. They're so good. Okay, let's focus down on these dust bat pelts and whittle our way through these quests. They 
That's resetting. Is it going after him? Oh, it's his minion. Never mind. Oh no. Another one bites the dust. Vampiric dust bat. Okay, we're gonna go over here. We don't want to get pulled into the doggos. That's a little bit safer, but that dog is still really close. We might have one behind us too. Yep, he's gonna path onto us. We gotta be careful. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I just don't want to chain a bunch of mobs. We got the potion if we need it. Aw, oh, shoot. Let's, uh, let Mr. Minion take care of it. There we go. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. I'm more worried about these mobs possibly pathing to us than... than anything else. <laughs> okay. Dust bat pelts over this way. Dust bat, I see one. I just need that doggo not to spawn back behind me. Here we go. Come on, die, 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 please. And have a pelt. And have a pelt. Rude. I <laughs> did not have a pelt. How is he flying around with no pelt? That's creepy. He's like, yeah, I didn't feel like wearing my pelt out today. I was just, you know, going out there in the buff. Just running around in the rain all willy-nilly. No pelt. No pelt. Huh, I don't like all these dogs pathing. This feels a bit dangerous. That feels extra dangerous, too. Let's get a safer spot for trying to get the last bat. I would hate to die out here to some dogs. And we got some questionable spots here. Let's go for this one. And hope we don't regret it. Oops. I'm normally not a clicker, but um, I didn't get that corruption off on him. Please have a pelt. Please have a pelt. Please have a pelt. Please have a pelt. Nope. We're running on this one. And we're hitting our health potion. Okay. There's a dude there. We're gonna get away. No dying. I don't like fields of aggro. They're not relaxing. That guy's a level nine. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Run, run, run. I see him coming up on me. Oh, and there's guys over here. We don't want Scarlet Watch Post. Okay, we need to find our way out of here without dying. That's level seven demon dog. We can go that way. I may hearth out of here and then run back and then find one of the outlier Bats, because I don't like being tucked way back in here. I'm not a fan of it. Like, what level is that bat? He's a nine. Yeah, I think we hearth. So let's hearth. Because I feel a bit cornered. Because every which way we go, there's a lot of mobs. And we really don't want to take on, really at this point, more than one at a time. Because we are squishy and we have, like, no potions. So I think retreat was wise. So let's go ahead and, um... 
check out what we have in our bags, and then we'll go from there. Never shame and retreat. Target's armor for 60 by 30 minutes. We can use that when we're doing some harder stuff. I, I don't know if we'll use the spirit scroll, really, like... I mean, we could health and mana regen. We'll put it down here if we really need it. Okay. We're going to vendor most of this. Let's just look through real quick. I think we're good. The music in here is interesting. Rest your weary bones for a spell. There it goes. Time to clear the bags out. Hey, 13 silver. Royalist poor. Meaty bat wings. Um, I'm assuming we use that for cooking. Uh, so let's do this. There we go. I wish quest items didn't take a bag of space, but that's okay. So, now we need to go work on those quests some more. I think we are just about to level, so then we'll be level 8 at least. Have we learned anything else yet? We need to get to 50 there. 40 here for heavy land bandages. Okay, so that takes a little while. I don't think we have any more linen we can turn in. Oh, we have one, but we'll save a pile and then we'll craft some more. I wonder where the cooking trainer is. Because I honestly don't know. Um, it's just been so long since I spent any time out here. No cooking? Okay. Dust bat pelts. There's some right here outside of Brill. I bet you they're lower level than the other dust bats. So let's go for these. Because that area was just like intense. Like a whole bunch of level 9 dust bats and doggos just roaming. That is dangerous when you're like wussy and not very uh, tanky like me. Yeah, we got a few spawn spots out here. Yeah, that's much better. Level six, I'll take that. Okay. Let's take this guy down. Carlos is probably like, yeah, it's much better. <laughs> okay. No wing. Or pelt. No pelt. Looking up here for the view to see them. No. I mean, we're just about to... Literally just about to level, so let's, um... I know it's lower level, but let's get this, um, mob over here real quick. And hopefully one of the despats will spawn in, just not, like, on us. That'd be great. <laughs> Score, we're level 8. I want to run into town to the Warlock Trainer real quick. When do we get talents? I guess not yet, because I thought N was talent tree, and that doesn't pull anything. So let's find our, our friendly warlock trainer. I think they're upstairs, right? Hmm. 
mage trainer uh gretchen lady demon trainer it means warlock trainer yep right there awesome it's wise that you humble yourself yes okay Curse is a target with agony, causing 84 shadow damage over 24 seconds. Nice. This damage is dealt solely at first and builds up its curse, reaches its full duration. Only one curse per world can be active any time on any target. So we will be using Curse of Agony. Ah, fear. Good old fear. Okay. So. Dark lady, let's grab our Curse of Agony. Uh, let's shift click this. Mm. For now, we'll keep that there. 24, 15, 12. Nuke, nuke, nuke. Okay, that works. And. I don't remember what else we just learned. Oh my goodness, guys. Our cursor. Oh, and fear. Okay. I think since we may possibly need to fear something, I want you to leave this for a last case scenario because if you fear something and you cause a worse situation, it can be bad. You can like literally screw yourself. So keeping it handy, I think I'm gonna keep it on Y. So I have to reach decently for it. So I really have to think when I'm using it. And then R and T I'll use for like procs. Uh, when we get things that proc. Because right now, nothing procs. <laughs> so. I hope that helps them. Want to make your demons more powerful? It is mm. that you've come to the right place. Firebolt rank two for a demon. I'm gonna grab that bad boy. And teach him that real quick. Dark lady watch over you. Hello, Carlos. Here you go. I got a nice little upgrade for you. Hope you like it. I wish he would sell me his outfit, but like in black. <laughs> okay. That should help some. We have better fire bolt. And uh, we now have Curse of Agony. So in Curse of Agony, um, immolate... Um, Corruption spam shadow bolt and we're starting to actually feel like we are a uh, warlock now <laughs> We're making progress towards feeling like being a warlock so yay and You're level eight I haven't gone I'm gonna buy some more water from her That looks good. Let's check our bag situation. Okay. We do have eight silver now, but still, that brown lover satchel is 25 silver, so that's still quite a lot of money to us. Hmm. I'm thinking about my main character with just ridiculous amounts of money on her, and us over here being poor. <laughs> All good. <clears throat> now this is sold for 25 copper and so is that but i think we would rather not die so we can maybe use this on battle we're worried about Trust no one. okay let's see if any of the dust bats have respawned out here because for some reason mine don't have pelts <laughs> i just need one to drop a pelt Ooh, what we're thinking about we need to buy that thread coarse thread where's the tailor trainer at Where'd you go to? Herbalist? I think she's maybe over here. Oh, that's the side of the house. Alchemist. Well, that's no good. Let's pull my map. One of my add-ons, it shows me, like, the, um... We'll shift. Oh, it says we can get the course thread in there. Or the course thread in there. Can we buy it out here at all? Course thread. There. I see where you can buy it. 
Is it at the... Oh, trade supplies. Ah, that'll do it. I am forsaken. We now are the proud owner of In one coarse thread. Shadow. Now we just need a despot pelt and we can complete a quest. Oh, lordy. Level eight. I'm, I'm feeling okay with this. I think I like this one better. This one has has a pelt energy. Which if you play Disney Dreamlight Valley, that's equivalent of big pumpkin energy. Ah. There we go. No pelt. How interesting. Let's get this guy over here. Let's just be a little careful. Perfect. And good. I'll take it. No pelt. I think that's nine now with no pelt. Let's try another one of these guys. There's like, yeah, it's just no pelt day. No pelts for uh, bats day. It's the national holiday. Don't you know? Come on, little buddy. I know you remembered to grab your pelt before you left home. Come on. No. All right. I see how it is. Okay, my money's on this one having a pelt. You know you want a little buddy. Just give me the pelt. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to keep going through and getting all your friends here. No pelt. Wow. He was strong in his conviction to protect his friends. Goodness. Okay, let's look over this way. What is this building? Oh, is this the Zeppelin building? I don't recognize it coming from the ground. I, I was so used to flying to the top of it. I bet you it is a Zeppelin building. Which means maybe we could go to Ogremar and we could learn to hold staves. My brother said we could make great money with this trade route, but he didn't tell me I would be the one living on this side. If you come back this way on the Zeppelin, could you bring me something to eat? They sell some of the finest meat in Orgrimmar, and I sure could use something that didn't die weeks before it stopped moving. Yeah. Hurry back! Now, if we go over there, I don't remember where the weapon trainer is. We can ask one of them to tell us, and we can find it on the map. We can learn how to hold staves. Stabs. And then we can fly back over here. It's just going to be a lot of running. So I'm trying to remember how you get up from the ground without flying to the top. Because I've just flown for like the last billion years. It'll be funny if we go to Ogremar before we go to Undercity. <laughs> but you know, you do what you do. I wonder how long till the Zeppelin comes back. Oh, maybe, do they tell us still? No? Mm, interesting. My brother said we nope. could make great money with this trade route, but he didn't tell me I would be the one living on this side. 
If you come back this way on the Zeppelin, could you bring me something to eat? Zoom out and see the map shows it. In Orgrimmar, and I sure could use something that didn't die weeks before it stopped. It eating. doesn't. Well, what we can do is we can try out. We know where the Zeppelin area is. Oh, which Zeppelin is that? This here is the oh, the Stranglethorn Vale. Art mode of transportation money can build. What? Deep run tram? Gnomes? Listen, pal. If you believe that garbage, then I'm oh. going to catch you down in Stranglethorn to sell you. Now, are you walking to Gromgol, or are you going to ride in style in this fine flying machine? Ah, okay. I forgot where that one went to. Okay. It would suck to die from fall damage in hardcore. <laughs> just saying. Like, imagine, like, getting off the Zeppelin and just stepping wrong or something. Mm. We're gonna hold off on the Orgrimmar visit. Uh, we're gonna focus down the last dust bat. I know we've, like, killed a billion of them. But I feel like if we start on it again, we're gonna have the same luck. And then we're just gonna repeat everything. So I'm hoping we'll get like one good bat. Um, let's. Now this one's saying we can get it from the regular dust bats over here. This one I take us further. Oh, there's a greater dust bat. I guess the greater dust bats are the regular dust bats. Okay. Here we go, little buddies. Here we go. I just need one of you to let me have the pelt. Just one. Do you have a pelt? No. I remember there's one quest and it wanted something from a boar. I think it wanted like their blood or something ridiculous. And I spent like three hours as a noob on that one quest because none of them wanted to drop their blood. I finally got it, but I felt like I was doing something wrong because I was so new, you know, I was brand new. And I was just like killing them over and over and over and over. And I finally got them, but it felt to, like even me being a noob back in the day like many many years ago it felt bugged you know and sometimes there's just a quest where they do not want to drop their item okay there's more dust bats over uh this side of the hill so we're just gonna kind of walk along and search for them because i don't want to um accidentally aggro too much I feel like it's like choosing a lot of numbers at this point. Ooh, we're going up towards the higher level area. No. Okay, this guy down here, he's lucky. He has a pelt. He did not leave his pelt home when he went to work today. Oops, I did that twice, my bad. We are missing, ah. Uh, cursed, please have a pelt. <gasps> yes, he had a pelt, oh my goodness. We're turning that quest. <laughs> And then we're going to go on to the next quest because holy wow. Now, I think I want to work on the Rot High Grave Robbers next because we're only missing five items from that. So that's not going to be too bad. And the Scarlet Warriors is literally to kill 10 warriors. So it's not like it's asking us to get 10 warriors 
you know, like shins or whatever, you know, and none of them have shins. It's like, sorry, we all had a rough time. Uh, they took their, they took our shins before you showed up. Here we go. Let's head on out. Gretchen. I it best be an amazing that. blanket. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna get a cloak. It's a nice little upgrade. I should actually click on it. Do not seek death. We'll take it. Oh, that one's that's pretty. It's okay. Here we go. I remember when I was a noob overthinking every single piece of gear as I was leveling up. And they're all the equivalent of just like garbage, you know? So now I'm just like, is it, does it say the arrow's up? Okay. There we go. That's good. Bye. Okay, so let's go ahead and track this one. And let's focus the quest. That way our arrows aren't going all willy and nilly. Or are they? Uh, yep. Our arrows are going all willy and nilly. I guess it's taking us to one of the different mobs in the list. That's fine. Let's make sure we're actually going to grave robbers. Yep. They're right up here and around the bend. So that'll be good. And thank you guys again for hanging out. It's really good to have you here. I am having a blast, and if I manage to get my character killed, it's a lot less stressful when you have people hanging out with you. Because then you guys be like, oof. <laughs> like, yep. <laughs> oh. Apothecary Society. His robe is so cool. I need that. It's like, hey, guy, I'll do your quest, but just give me the robe. He's like, what? It's my outfit for the day. I really like it. And he's like... Oh no, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I want it, <laughs> but it's mine. <laughs> you want your quest done? Yeah, give me the robe. Give me the robe. <laughs> well, grave robber, where for out that grave robber? I need uh, two, I need rot hide grave robbers. So literally I just need to kill them. I don't need them to drop items or anything, so that's fine. There's one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're far more reasonable now that we have two more levels on us. Grave Rubber? Yep. Okay, and... We need, a, we need another to spawn in. Grave rubber, over there. Here, let the minion attack you first. Okay, it's fine. Perfect. Just one more grave robber. What's he doing way up there? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, there's one. That place that grave robber is standing reminds me very much of the spot I took myself to be safe while I went and grabbed my snacks earlier. <laughs> That would have been so bad. Oh my goodness. Need to target something first. Okay, one more. One more. And then we can check him off our list. I want 
to find a way to make the nameplates bigger. Apparently, they limited some stuff with this uh, because of creating like unfair advantages to other people uh, for other people in PvP. But I just want to be able to see their nameplates before like I'm like literally standing on top of them. Let's see. Okay, it looks like we have some fresh spawn points over here maybe coming in. I'm guessing those people running around uh, got a lot of the other ones, and we got some of them too. So we're going to be a little bit limited on which ones we can get. Ooh. There's a grave robber. Let's get closer to the road. There's a grave robber. I'll take this closer to the road grave robber here. Oof. Well. I'm out of range. Come on, little buddy. Perfect. Okay, we got that quest done. And the turn in is down here in Brill, so we might as well. We can't Hearthstone. Let's uh, get this Scarlet Warriors, I think. Let's go ahead, not abandon, Lordy Lou. Okay, we should. Oops. Hit Tom Tom coordinates. Where on earth is it taking us? I guess I'll go where it's taking us. It's just 800 yards is a lot. So I'm kind of wondering. Oh, someone's attacking us. Okay, let's help our buddy Carlos. Okay. Scarlet Warriors. I'm curious. Where on earth is this going to go? Because I'm not going to be able to get up there. We're here. And I thought I saw him for a second. Those are notch ribs and blackened skulls, which we do need. They're way over there. Oh, it's the other side of the hill, I guess. So if we go down this side, we should be able to wrap around the side of the hill and get to those. Very carefully. We don't need the Ravaged Corpse or anything. Except he's pathing, so we might have to. Okay. Sneakeroony. Just a little bit of sneakeroony. Let's see how far we can get before a mob attacks us. We're going the right way for at least one of the quests. Okay. Look for notch ribs and blackened skulls. I believe we're going into the correct area. Yes, but we need to be careful. Oh, hello. Right, I need to be careful we get attacked. 
Come on, little minion. Keep aggro for me. Don't die. I don't have the heal your pet button just yet, so we're just gonna have to um, nuke him down real quick and then resummon our minion. There we go. Mm. Mana. Oh good, our stream's still healthy in both YouTube and Twitch. Awesome. I think that's our happy medium point for all the settings. So I finally found a balance between what Twitch wants and what YouTube wants. Okay, let's get to the road very carefully. That's a little bit better. We need this guy for notched ribs. Come on, little buddy, we can do this. Oh shoot, he is hit. Oh no, 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 no. Run, oh, guys, we died. <laughs> I didn't see those two come up behind me. So, <laughs> um, we're dead. It's okay. I didn't see those guys behind me. <laughs> I know, right? I did not see them behind me at all. I thought we made it through. That's okay. I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and make the next character and just get into the intro area to where we have that character there. <laughs> because we made it so far. We have five hours and 14 minutes. I just didn't even see him. All good. All good. We tried. So, we made it to level eight. <laughs> On the bright side, it wasn't like level one or two. But I mean, I, I don't understand how to die at one or two anyway. So let's make another character real quick. Um, we can release but not revive. So I guess we're just gonna... Um, let's go to the main screen. I'll just let it take the 20 seconds. That was so close. I know it's far too late that they got onto my back. Okay. So this one's dead. We can't use her anymore. So. Let's... I don't think... Troll mage. They can't be. Okay, I figured. I know, I'm boring. Warlock. Let's find a face. We might spice up and go with a different face, though. That's so scary. I died, guys. <laughs> oh, goodness. I legitimately thought I could get through that area. All good. What face is that? Let's take off the features so I can see. Okay, let's look at a different face. That one's kind of weird. The poor hair. Oh my goodness. I did kind of figure we would get like at least one death in, so. All good. That's the hair that has the side part. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's get some other hairstyles. There's a spiky. I don't like that. This one's a bit of just like brushed it. Um, I don't like that one at all. I guess we're going to go with the side part one for now until we can get to someone who can give us a hairstyle. 
This is a lot harder when you have to not die. Okay. So I'm cool with the face and the hair. The skin, the features. And we're a warlock. An undead priest. That'd be uh, interesting. Shadow priest. I'm curious how that would play. I don't play rogue. I love mage. Let's stick with warlock for now because we know we can get the pet really early on. Um, let me get my good old ASCII chart because I'm going to need it real quick. Sorry, guys, it's my desktop. I hope you enjoy all those game shortcuts. So let's pick an A with a symbol over it. So, um, which one is this? Is this accent a goo? This is the top hat. Yeah, good old top hat A. I don't, circumflex is what it's called. Let's see. Maybe, let's see the other A's we got over here. I already used A with umlaut. Yeah, let's go with the circumflex on it. So. Yeah, that makes it a lot easier to get your next name. Okay, there we go. I need to get rid of the ASCII chart. This is the ASCII chart I'm using, by the way, guys. I like this ASCII chart. It's uh, the ASCIIcode.com.ar is the one I like. And let's go ahead and accept. <laughs> I kind of like the little circle one. I don't know what it's called, though. Ooh, my skin color is slightly different. Did I want that? I guess we can get her changed up later. Yeah, my skin color is different. Eh, it's okay. Okay. Ooh, so the ASCII chart, when I make my character's name, if I want a character's name that I can't get, I just take a symbol from that chart and put it in my name for the letter. I just copy and paste from it. But you can type alt and the numbers after the letters to make it do it. I'm gonna let play through this again. But also to slaughter those who would hunt them as monsters. With Sylvanus as their banshee queen, the Forsaken have built a dark stronghold beneath the ruins of Lordaeron's former capital city. This hidden undercity forms a sprawling labyrinth that stretches beneath the haunted woods of the Tirithral Glade. Though the very land is cursed. The zealous humans of the Scarlet Crusade still cling to their scattered holdings, obsessed with Iraq. I'm so shocked they got me. And retaking their homeland. Convinced that the primitive races of the Horde can help them achieve victory over their enemies, the Forsaken have entered an alliance of convenience. Harboring no true loyalty for their new allies, they will go to any lengths to ensure their dark plans come to fruition. As one of the Forsaken, you... I know, right? I thought we were cool. Order, human. But you know, we're all good. Or otherwise. Okay, we gotta make sure the UI stuff is good. Uh, so we're gonna continue. Set up C-bars. Set up chat. We're gonna move this up a bit here. Um, I ended up liking this a bit over more, I think. There we go. We're going to unlock the chat and move back over. Shared profile. Finished. Now, we aren't actually finished. I'm just pressing the finish button. There's a little bit more we have to do, but it'll only take a second. Okay, exclude alliance only. And there we go.
That sounds good. We can move this like that a little bit. We can still kind of see the death log. Okay. Ooh, tidy plates is what we'll use. It's gonna reload the UI again. I shouldn't have moved that thing just yet. I forgot it was gonna reload again. That's fine. We'll go ahead and hop in here. Go to LVI. Go to maps and mini maps. Disable. Disable. Nameplates. We're using the other ones. Okay. Hooey. And we're gonna reload our UI. This should at least get us to where we have the mini map we want. Mmm. Back into LVI. Skins. Unselect this. Disable those. That looks good. It only takes a little bit to get everything right with AI, not AI, with user interface, Lordy Lou. And it just makes everything feel so much nicer. These challenges are hard. Okay. So, exclusive lines only. Starting achievements. Whoa, these other challenges you can do for all? Complete the hardcore challenge without any point using an ability that deals damage other than shadow. Spells and demon abilities that deal fire damage are not allowed. All items are con and consumables that deal damage other than shadow damage are allowed. That's hard. Uh, those are like uh, advanced achievements you can do. Complete uh, the hardcore challenge without any point casting two shadow or two flame spells in a row during combat. That would absolutely wreck Destro Lock. Fellfire. Complete the hardcore challenge without any point using an ability that deals damage other than fire. Wait. So what do you do for the first, like, billion levels? Just stab things with a dagger? That one... I don't know how you actually achieve that one. Because, I mean, your first spells are Shadow Bolt. <laughs> and that dagger doesn't do enough to kill anything. I'm not sure that one's actually possible. I'd love to see that. Imp Master. Complete the hardcore challenge without any point summoning a demon other than the Imp. You can do that and run Destro Lock. That, these are interesting. I'm only doing the actual core rules of this. I'm not doing all that. That's a lot, a lot. Because, oh my god. <laughs> we would be suffering. Let's go ahead and pull this down here. Oh, we lost our bags. Oh, we lost Car Carlos. Oh, no. He's dead now. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's okay. He'll be fine. He wasn't, you know. We're going to get some ridiculous name on our imp this time. Okay. So, we got our good map. We got ourselves, we got our bars. I think we're doing okay. We're alive and we're a different character. <laughs> Let's talk to Undertaker Mortar again. About time you woke up. We were ready to toss you into the fire with <laughs> the others, but it looks like you made it. I am Mordo, the caretaker of the Crypt of Death Knell, and you are the Lich King's slave no more. Speak with Shadow Priest Silas Lich Okay. Farewell. That was wild. Down the hill we go. I feel like I picked 
a slightly more purpley skin than I normally do. It's okay, they were spicing it up. Let's get that imp quest completed absolutely first if we can. Howdy. No other race on Azeroth has suffered as much as our people, adventurer. To laugh in the face of death has become second nature for all of us. Another of the Walking Dead HM must have been. Move this over here. Waking up in the crypt with only the cold and Mordo to greet you. Make it easy for I us to see it. Confusion on your face. Let me try to explain our situation to you. Three. We have been freed from the. I have no gloves. By our new leader, Lady we'll Savannah. take the gloves. The Dark Lady guides us in our war against when we get the there. Scourge and the holdouts of humanity who dog our every step. We've forsaken are at war with the Lich King's army of the Scourge. Necromantically raised <laughs> I've queued them talking, so it looks like she's talking, north, but it's him. Tormented specters, the northern part of the village has become overrun with the mindless ones, and they must be destroyed. Destroy them, show them no mercy. Our former brothers and sisters, as they might be, the fallen are nothing but the Lich King slaves. Greetings, child. I can see that you are still young in the ways of the warlock. Power still in okay. your grasp. I We're going to... to learn, and you will learn. There is no strength in ignorance. Knowledge is our greatest power. Through its application, do this first. We control the chaotic magics and beings of the void. Bending them to our will. I will show you how to bind a servant to your will. But first, okay. Let's get our imp back and let's see what our imp's name is. I want to at least do that. <laughs> that was chaos. Okay, to get our imp, we need three rattle cage skulls. So we're just going to focus on rattle cage skeletons first. Oh, let's shift move this over to here. Let's cast this on ourselves. I believe we have a rattle cage skeleton targeted. Okay, we're back to the good old beginning of. Oh, stop pulling my mobs away. I'm just gonna stab him. We don't have a lot of mana, so it's fine. Oh, auto loot's not on. I gotta fix that. That's gonna get real annoying. One sec. Uh, interface. Auto loot. Let's go in here. Um, do, 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 do. Action bars. Names, enemy units, and minions. Okay, there. That'll be a little bit better. That's what I forgot to put back on. Okay, let's find ourselves a... Rattle cage... Skeleton. There's one. These gotta be really careful, because they take us down... on the mana real quick. His name's Noob Mage. That's cute. I'm just gonna stabby stabby him to death. It'll be fine. There we go. Now we can cast again. Much better. What? Let me check my auto loot settings. Why is that not auto looting? Interface. Auto loot. Did I not click OK? I must have X'd out or something. Let's go through here and make sure we have everything. Enemy unit plates. I guess I must not have clicked OK. There we go. We just need to get one more rattle cage skeleton and we can get our minion. And I like the idea of having our minion from the very beginning. There's a little buddy for us. Also, it's far less packed over here now. Because it's like completely, I mean, like early, early morning at this point. Oh, we're just going to stabby stabby until our mana regens a little. Stabby stabby stabby. 
There we go. And bolt. Good old shadow bolt right to the face. Oh, he didn't. He didn't have a skull. How is he walking around without a skull? Okay. Let's find another rattle cage, um, dude. Skeleton. Okay, there's one. Please have a skull. A little bit stabby stabby. I don't think we're meant to be going against the level three like right now, but I want the minion before we proceed with any other quest. And we can make it work. Oh, no skull. Okay, let's uh, let our mana restore real quick and we'll go after this guy. He's a level two. Maybe he'll have a skull. There we go. I'm just gonna stabby stabby him a bit. Where there's a will, there's a way. There we go. Let's go get our minion. Good stuff. Okay, we're gonna clear the waypoint for Crazy Arrow. Okay. And let's see what kind of minion name we get. And you are, though you are still untested and young. Nice. You have proven that you possess sufficient ability to master the summoning and binding of an imp. Do not be deceived by an imp's size, though it lacks physical strength. Okay, little buddy. And a cleverness that will serve you well. Attend me carefully, adventurer, for I will not repeat this lesson, and I will leave its mastery to you. I don't like his name nearly as much. He's not Carlos. He's Cuzpad. <laughs> Poor little guy. He got a rough name. All good. I know, right? It's okay. I know. He was a good little imp, buddy. He was. Okay, I'm gonna check something real quick. Just curious. Hang tight with me, guys. Hang tight. I'm going to try to get this not to play. I'm just checking something. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I'm gonna send the Twitch over to raid. Uh, Asmongold is apparently awake on his Zachrar channel. Um, I don't know. I've never raided. <laughs> One viewer's ready to raid Zach. <laughs> yeah. One viewer. We're going to go over there and raid. Okay. Now on YouTube. Okay. Now on oh. YouTube.
I'm gonna get this figured out real quick because I need to figure out who we're raiding on YouTube. Because I want to raid with you guys on YouTube. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna find someone to raid on YouTube. It, definitely. Thank you for hanging out, guys. Yeah. Let's see who's up. If it's not fun, what's the point? That's a great fucking question. What a good okay, I'm gonna send us over to raid Beacon of Nick doing Splatfest. Thanks for hanging out, guys, and we will do this again. I hope you have a wonderful night. I'm gonna go ahead and send us on over for the raid. Yeah, this is awesome. With Reggie? Well, Reggie didn't die. He